Hey, 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 what is going on guys? What is going on? It is XP. We are in the house. We are back. Oh my god, is this thing on? Is this thing on? I don't know, man. Oh my word, it's been like, what, two months since I've fired up my computer and jumped on the stream? What is going on, ladies and gents? Happy Saturday, happy good afternoon, happy good evening to each and every one of you guys. Pick up yourself. Oxenos Media is in the house, the one who's responsible for this airport. Oh my word. Big up, big up, big up, big up. Thank you so much, guys. Richmond by Oxenos is what we're featuring today. It's here. It's a beautiful airport, as you guys saw from the flyover here. We're going to be flying out of here, going down to Miami today. Yep, Miami is going to be in the house. It's going to be about a two-hour flight. But, man, it's been a while, guys. Man, life has been so busy. Work has been so busy. It's been crazy. I got stories for you guys over the next couple of hours to let you guys know what's going on and why we took so long and took the time off that we needed but we got everything done so we are good to go so i appreciate all you guys being in the stream and the chat the link is in top of the stream for this airport guys link is in top hey ric scenery is linked it is a great scenery i encourage one of you guys to check it out because it is a good scenery another place for us to fly in the u.s other than laguardia charlotte atlanta etc etc but without further ado let's go ahead and run the track and say what's up to each and every one of you guys here, man. Miss all you guys. Absolutely, man. Big up yourself. Fly the Live is in the house. Mr. Fly with Rookie. What's going on, Rookie? Good evening, brother. Welcome aboard the stream and chat. Glad to have you aboard. Appreciate it. Dow Rodney is here. Florida Man is in the house. Addo is here. Boeing 78 Fan is in the house. HD Sim Dea. Big up yourself. HD, what's going on, sir? Mr. Lead is in the house. What's up? Welcome aboard. Oxenos is here. The, um, the man, the myth, the bridge, and the team. Good to go. Big up yourself. DJ Cool is in the house. Jackson is here. Uh, Kill my skills is in the house. House. Elijah Coda is here. Aviation Media Stick Up Tyler Aviator 99 and Pins is here. Leonardo is here. Jet Set Builds is here. Cam MD80 is in the house. Good afternoon, Cam. Good morning. What's up? Uh, DJ Coolbreeze is here. Andy Boyce, the man the myth. What's going on, Andy? Welcome. We're really glad to have you in the stream chat. Louis F is here. Horace Fox is in the house. What's going on, Horace? Happy, beautiful Fort Lauderdale and Miami afternoon to you, Horace. It's beautiful, man. Beautiful weather outside down in South Florida. It is good, man. Big up. Addo is here. Lewis F is in the house as well. Uh, we have uh, Flywood Lado is here. Curtis Holmes is here. Uh, Captain AB 943 is in the house. Big up self. Captain Shark is here. Uh, big up self. Rev Alvin O'Neill. God bless you, my friend. Welcome aboard. What's up? Big up, big up, big up. <clears throat> Glad to have you aboard. Captain Ruiz is here. Captain Edward is here. Defender 721 is in the house. Quentin Velasquez is here. Florida Man is here. Cali Simmer is here. Samuel Joseph 25. Ninja Man is here. Lucas Bonnie is here. Jfoot 709 is in the house. Sanders is here. Tech Me IT is in the house. Tech My IT is here. Captain Nick Gary Shepard. Rest of the squad is here. Yes, guys, I'm telling you. Ooh, 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 what's that? This airport, I am actually loving. Let me go back over to the uh, main terminal real quick here and shows you guys what's going on with it. I'm actually loving, loving, loving um, this airport. I, I love airports that um, show off the smaller airports that we normally don't visit, and this is one of those airports, and I'm actually happy that we're flying it. Shout out to Orbix for sponsoring this. Shout out to Oxenos for dropping this. Mr. Dougal McTavish is here. What's going on, Dougal? Good evening, brother. Good afternoon. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But yeah, this airport is served by Southwest Spirit, American, Delta, United. Everybody goes to Richmond. Believe it or not, my granddaughter flies out of here too. But it's a beautiful field, beautiful, um, well put together airport. Absolutely big up, big up selves. Big up selves, guys. Glad to have you all in the stream and chat. I appreciate each and every one of you guys here. I hope my microphone is working. My computer has been off for since last Friday. A week and one day my computer has been off for. That's how long this computer has been off for. I haven't turned it on. I had to fly it up last night when I got home from work, make sure everything was updated with it, all the sceneries are working, all the updates on the graphics card, my graphics update, all that stuff has been done, man. Uh, RIC has a huge Amazon Op Center where you're at. Oh, really, Samuel? I see an Amazon plane down there. We've got to go check it out, man. Absolutely, man. XP, the custom jetways aren't loading. Make sure you disable GSX jetways. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I I forgot about GSX. That's the one thing with GSX that I don't like. Um, it takes over everything, and you, if you don't disable it, you're gonna have to go in there and do it. So it's all good. Next time we fly out of here, we'll have those uh, jet bridge uh, disabled in GSX. GSX takes over everything. It's like the plague. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I swear to God, man. Which Richmond is this? Uh, Oxenos Media, uh, K-R-I-C, uh, Tech, my IT. This is uh, K-R-I-C from Oxenos. Link's up top in chat if you guys want to check it out. That's where it is. I guess this is where the, um, the Primere come out of right here. But yeah, the Cargo Ops Center is a huge piece of real estate. Can fit like what? One, two, three, four, maybe eight birds in here. It is nice, and I love the surrounding areas as well with the roads and the highways and the traffic on it. Really, really, really nicely done with the parking garages and everything. There's extra parking across the street too. That's probably like a long-term parking over there. Even has the water tower in there. And then there's, um, right there, there's Richmond in the background over there. So yeah, check this airport out, guys. It is really well worth it. As you could tell, it is nice. Beautifully colored with the bricks, the old school brick airports, the way they used to make them before glass was a thing. And uh, go give them, a, go give them a support. Uh, I'm really, really, really happy they made this. We're gonna be flying out of here, going out to Miami. Stopping by with a like. CST Gaming, enjoy your stream, brother. Big up, man. Big up, big up, man. I was watching you last night. Do your thing, bro. Absolutely good. CST Gaming, glad to be joined. Everything is good and golden and working. Even got the military here as well. Really, which side of the field would be the military? It's a big airport. Is a big airport. I'm not sure where the military would be in this, but I was trying to figure out where the um, the cargo section is. Finally figured it out, but yeah, it's a huge enough field. You wouldn't think uh, in Virginia, Richmond would have something as big as this, but it's good. Absolutely, man. Evan L, welcome aboard, Evan. Glad to have you aboard. 78 fan, what's going on, sir? There's a problem with the engines. I have the wrong engine selected. Is it? Which engines are these? These are the Pratt's Whitney's or these are the GE's? I'm not sure. Which engines are we looking at here? We'll see, man. Lucas has been doing a ton of VATSIM in Europe with Phoenix XP. You need to teach me the wizardry ways of the USA online. <laughs> it's much easier than Europe, Duga, believe it or not. The US is easier. We're way more relaxed, man. We don't have to know the stand number. We don't have to call for push and start. You know, we get away with a lot of murder over here, for real, but hey. But yeah, it's all good, man. South side of the airport by runway 3 4 says Addo is where the military is. Awesome. But yeah, Dougal, we'd love to have you fly in the US with us, man. One of these evenings when we're doing our XP Ops Congo Line kind of thing, that would be nice for you to join us and do so. But anyway, guys, check out the link in, in the chat in the description up there. That is the airport. If you don't have it, go pick this up. Very reasonable price for a very good airport. It is good. Shout out to Oxenos and Orbex team. We're bringing one to this one, man. Go to the cockpit. Let's see those uh, dials. Okay, let's go. Let's go into the cockpit and see what we have and make sure we have the right... Hey, hey, hey. I can't believe it's been 24 months. Wow, these two years went by fast. I wanted to say you were the first streamer that I subscribed and joined. You inspired me to really get into simming, and I thank you for the great content. Big up to you. Big up, big up, the one and only Cali Simmer dropping by to say the hi and with the $24 bomb in chat. Cali Simmer, thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Big up yourself, man. Um, small community, brother. Glad you joined the stream. Glad you joined the chat. Two years and counting. You're good to go, my friend. Thank you, thank you, Cali Simmer. I absolutely appreciate your support. Big up yourself, brother. Welcome aboard, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Big up, big up, big up. Absolutely, man. There are the GE engines. Okay. Um, how do we change the engines on this thing? I don't even know. You know what? I just loaded the airplane. I don't know how to... Ch how. Is there a setting in here to change the engine type? Um, let's see. Aircraft maintenance throttle settings. Uh, aircraft real lighting instruments. Uh, EFB units and weights. Altimeter units. Uh... I don't know. How do how do we change engines in this thing? Because I did the update on it. It should have it. I have no idea how to change engines on this. That's a good question. How do you do this? Got the N1s in here. Uh, la la la. Calibrate, en route, aircraft maintenance, ground equipment. Does it? Sh where would you go to change the engines on it? I don't know. Good question. Where 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 oh where? It's a separate model. Interesting. Engines requires a different plane in the menu options. You know what? It's not too late. Let's go do this. Give me a second. Let's go back here. I'm curious. I'm curious to know because I did update the airplane. Let's see. Why not? We have time. We haven't started yet. It's early. We're not in a rush today to fly. Let's get this sorted out properly. And so we can be good to go on that. So let me go take a look at that because I wasn't sure. I did this update a week ago when I was supposed to stream that Friday and never did. And I haven't touched my computer since. 
but let's why not let's let's go do that we need to fly the new engines we want to see how, how what that sounds like uh definitely we want to see what that sounds like so let's go ahead and load up the different one see what that's all about before we get on the road and before we get started it will say a 300 pw hopefully they have delivery for it hopefully there is a pratt and whitney livery um for the ups because that's what we're flying is ups hopefully hopefully we'll see give it a second here don't take forever to load up sim come on separate liveries too Ooh. Okay, might as well go do GSX Jetways too. Well, I'm not restarting the sim, um, AMB. Can I do GSX Jetways um, before that? Okay, let's go here. We're in RIC. Let's go to airplane. Oh, here we go. PW, Airbus PW. But there is no livery for it? Hold on. Pratt & Whitney. RF is that the freighter? Let's go liveries. It's the white one, and it's the I nine bills one. There's no liveries for it. Oh, that sucks. Huh? Pat Williams blow my ears off. Are we are we gonna do a full restart? Seriously? Are we gonna have to do a full restart? Um, as far as uh, GSX is concerned. The last time I did the, uh, what do you call it, installer, hold on, the, the, um, FF, FS Dream Team to adjust GSX, let me just see something here, let me look at that real quick before I fire this up, see if we can change that, FS Dream Team takes forever to, to, uh, to, to update, see, yeah, look at this, every time I fire up this to do the update, it's like a whole one hour, for them to just go through the process. I'm gonna cancel this. Yeah, it's updating. Every single time I do that, it takes forever. Just to just to update whatever the airport or the ground selector, it does it goes through this process. I absolutely, absolutely hate GSX for that. It just takes away my time. All right, hold on. Since we're here, why not? Let's let's not rush this. Let's go to INI bills and go to INI manager. Since we're going to do all of it, hold on a second. Let me go to the INI manager. Pull that up. I have no patience. That's the problem, Mr. Williams. Let's go to aircraft owned, owned, owned. No, no. Let's go to my aircraft. Hold on, my products, and let's go to aircraft A three hundred INI bills. Okay, let's go U and liveries A three hundred airliner R Pratt and Whitney. So it would be this one, and uh, we have the FedEx. Where's the UPS? Let's go. It says I have a UPS. Just need to update it and install it. I don't understand. Interesting. That's the Pratt and Whitney's right here. Yeah, airliner Pratt and Whitney. It says I need to update it. Like I already have it. Let's go ahead. I understand why not let's do that i only saw gsx no time and no patience hey Dougal, i'm telling you look at yeah i'm telling you that's what happened it's still doing this thing look at gsx gsx is still going in the background even before i can get to update stupid jet bridge yeah you do you open fs stream to install our live update because when i open install it never forces updates i Okay, maybe I have the wrong thing. All right, so that is install. Let me install another one as well, the classic. It's on the GE airframe. Uninstalled and reinstall will move to the Pratt & Whitney. I'm on the Pratt & Whitney's right now. Should be showing me everything for Pratt & Whitney. I'm gonna install a second one just in case. And that is installed. Okay, let me go ahead and do the FedEx while I'm at here because uh, GSX is taking forever. There it is. GS updating GSX Pro. See, it takes forever. There's a new air rack now as well. <laughs> Jesus. 
that's not the updater. So what's the updater? It's updating uh, GSX Pro right here. You have to do the live updater for GSX where you configure Jetways, then it will update. FTP, what's going on, sir? Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I guess I missed a lot of updates when I was gone. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Microsoft is still running in the background, if you guys are willing to stick around. Let's go ahead and uh, go back. We're going to quit that. Let's just quit Microsoft. Yeah, why not? That's it. Uh, let's go to Navigraph while I'm at it. Oh, welcome to the update stream, guys. Glad you guys are in the stream and chat. I appreciate it. Where we update everything that we have never updated before. We're going to update that air rack right there. Uh, we don't want the GSX plugin. We don't want the avionics plugin. That's fine. We're not going to update the CRJ. PMDG we can update as well. They're all different. Look at that. All right, let's just update everything. Let me update the air rack. All right, that's updating. Good to go. When is the last time you have updated GSX XP? Because there has been like six updates in the last two months. <laughs> you should FS the FS Dream Team installer. You can just manually disable it when you're having to run a long updated process. <laughs> oh my god. Go to the live update on your home screen, bottom three left side. What are we talking about here? You're talking about this window? I... I is there a different stuff? Yeah, it's... PMDG has an update too. Yeah, well, welcome to the update stream, guys. Welcome to the update stream. Do they re-download the, the entire GSX every time they do an update? It looks like they download the entire software all over again. It's not like a patch. Is that what they do? On my desktop, that Samuel says, go to live update on your home screen, bottom bottom three left side. What live update? What are we talking about here? Are we talking about this? Bottom three what? Yeah, that's what I press. FS Dream Team live update. That's what's running right now. That's the installer. This is the live update. That's what's running. Live update. Right there. There it is. Mr. Martini, what's going on, sir? Welcome, Ward. Yeah, welcome to the update stream, guys, where you get to watch me update a bunch of stuff. Uh, what's, okay, so that's updated. We're not installing the Avianics plugins. We don't fly GA. We don't want that. A Navigraph chart they never use. Uh, CRJ, we never fly. Mad Dog, we can update that as well. Uh, PMDG is already updated. That's, at least that's quick. Use the installer instead. You have to open the installer and not live update. Okay, so here's the installer. Oh, I see. So can I cancel this? Can I back out of that without... Do you want to cancel the update live? Yes. Okay, so GSX Pro, go to configure. And uh, what else we need to do? Exclude third-party jetways. Click to exclude jetway replacement for third-party products. Okay. Exclude. And it's running. There it is. Let's see. All right, cool. Ah, uh, HE, no problem, brother. All right, so here's the third-party. So all my third-party airports that I installed should be excluded now, including KRIC. Uh, where's KRIC? Make sure you're excluded. K L M N M O P Q R R O C R. There it is. Okay, so that's enabled. That so that's yeah, excluded. Okay, good. So that should be do it. That should do it right there. KRIC is on the left hand side, so that should be excluded. I'm I'm, I'm assuming. K Rick. Yeah, I know chat's on a delay, but there it is right here. That should be excluded right there. Disable it. Apply. Oh, 
Okay, so it's applying it. There it is. All right, so KRIC is now in the disabled thingamajig. Uh, why can't I just disable all? OPQR, there it is. Okay, cool. So that's good. Why do we want GSX to put their 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 hair here? Okay, all right, that's good. Exit that. Navigraph is good to go. Um, we installed for the Pratt and Whitney the FedEx. Also installed for the Pratt and Whitney is the UPS one and two. So those are installed for Pratt and Whitney, and this was for which one? On the line. Airline of Pratt & Whitney, so that should be good. Let's go ahead, Microsoft up. Let's reload it and see what we got. Ryan Jones, what's going on, Ryan? Welcome aboard, man. Make sure it's on the right side for disabled. Okay, cool. Left is enabled. I got you. I got you. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's um, let's spawn this bad boy up. Let's start the stop stopwatch here and see how long this takes. Hopefully, less than five minutes for this to load up. Might as well get it all done. So this is the fun part of not having your computer on for a week or more. There are so many updates that you miss that it's not even funny. <laughs> but we're going to make it work. Why not? We're not in a rush today. Um, I think we're good here. We can close you. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's see. There is a Sobo. What else do we need? Uh, air rack is good. Yeah. All right. We should be all right. We should be good to go. Let's start this off good. Now I'm gonna time and see how long this thing takes to load. It should take forever. There we go. Anyway, guys, how's everyone been? Hope good, hope all right. Hope everybody has been great. This week has been just a challenge as far as time is concerned for me, guys. And that's been the issue why I couldn't stream Friday. Friday night, I, well, I got home from work Saturday morning at 4 a.m. in the morning. That's the first day. Yeah, 4 a.m. in the morning, I got home from work. That started off the weekend wrong. Monday, continued on the same project from work. That took whole day and evening. Tuesday was the same thing. Wednesday was the same thing. Never got a break until Thursday. Yeah, work had me, Sherwin. Work had me, man. Yeah, oh yeah, it did. <laughs> That's when you question your life choices going, okay, is this what I really want to do for the rest of my life? But um, it's all good. I was supposed to stream last night, but on the advice of Andy, Andy's like, you do not want to go and do a stream without at least turning on your computer, running a few updates that you need to do and try to stream without doing that. And sure enough, I turned my computer on last night. There was updates for um, um, for NVIDIA. My graphics card took an update. The PC took an update. There's a whole bunch of updates that ran last night. Now, obviously, I didn't do all of them, so there was more to do, but so, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate the concern, Jackson. It's all good, man. I was, I was radio silent for a minute, but we're back. We're back at streaming. I got to watch everybody stream. Everybody driving um, the Green Hell, uh, Nurburgring 2, all that racing people out there doing their thing, so it's all good. Yep, but we're back. We're good. Everybody's okay. I think the Hand of God is upstairs taking a nap, you know. So, full full. So, we're going to be streaming for the next few hours, which is good, man. Captain K! Greetings. What's up, brother? Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, Captain K. I hope you're good. Big up there. When you spawn in, we check if the engines are changed. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Sounds like it's time for another vacation. <laughs> Samuel. Well, believe it or not, my next vacation is literally going to be Vegas for Flight Sim Expo. I'm wearing my Flight Sim Expo shirt today. But we're not getting a vacation until... Uh, did you guys register yet for Flight Sim Expo? Because hotels booked. Flights booked. I'm doing two red eye flights. No, we're doing one red eye flight on the way back from Vegas to Fort Lauderdale. Rent a car is booked. Big Ralph! What's up, brother? Big up, man. Big up, big up, big up, big up, man. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're booked up for flights and expo um, coming up 
in June. So that weekend, I'm coming in on the Thursday night, unfortunately. I wanted to come in in the daytime, but there was no direct flight that put me in the daytime. So I'm coming in Thursday night about 10 o'clock, and we're not leaving until Tuesday. So we got a couple of days. We're going to hang out and hopefully go to the Grand Canyon and go to the Hoover Dam and stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely. That's, that's what it is. What's up, Big Ralph? Right of a Vegas, man? Let's do it, bro. I'm just going to roll $1 when I get to Vegas. going to just roll it in the slot machine in the airport and leave, and hopefully I win a million dollars. But, yeah. <clears throat> but that's that's what's coming. That's the next vacation. That's on tap. It's all good. It's in the book. Gary. Okay, so here's what happened to me, Gary. I saw flights on JetBlue directly to Vegas. I was like, eh, I'll wait. The prices went up, man. The prices of the flights went up. Believe it or not, I couldn't believe it. It went up by like a couple hundred dollars. Well, so don't wait to book it, man. Just book it and forget about it, man. You're going to be coming on the 20th, uh, kill my skills? Nice, 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 man. Yeah, from Fort Lauderdale, Jackson, we're looking at five hours going, or four and a half to five hours going. And then on the way back, it's going to be a little quicker. But yeah, <laughs> you're going to be gambling bigger out. <laughs> Set aside the gambling budget, man. I'm. I'm just going to probably... There's slot machines in the airport in Vegas. Put it that way. There are slot machines in the airport in Vegas. You don't have to even go to the casinos. Just go to the airport and gamble. You don't have to leave the airport. But <laughs> that's what it is. But yeah. Um, Thursday night, man. When are you coming in, Big Ralph? When, when are you coming in? Thursday, we should all get together. I'm not coming in until like 10 a.m. or something like that. But it's Vegas. Nobody sleeps. You know what I'm saying? We could stay up till 2 or 3 in the morning, get a little bit of rest, some breakfast, and we'll go to Expo on uh, Friday. Friday's Expo is going to be where all the big announcements. As a matter of fact, they should have made some announcements about uh, Expo, what's going on with the lineup. And there, there, there's more more vendors coming to Expo this year. I just got an email um, saying that there is more that's going to be covered that wasn't revealed before. That's going to be at Expo. So it, this Expo, I think, is probably going to be the biggest one. I feel it in my bones. You know, we'll see. Leave them airport slots alone. <laughs> yeah, baby. Kenny is in the house 16 months. What's going on, Kenny? Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the 16 months. It's been longer than that, Kenny. I know, man. Big up, self kid named Kenny. Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome. Wednesday to Monday. I got you, bro. I got you, big ref. Yeah, Thursday to Tuesday is what I'm doing. The one day overlap there, man. Wednesday afternoon, Gary. Oh, nice. Wow, I wish I could have been here earlier. Not to be, not to be, but it's all good. We're just going to do the Grand Canyon West Rim. So it's going to be like a 45 minute, an hour drive out, hour and a half drive out of Vegas. Uh, we're going to stop at the Hoover Dam first. We're going to do this on Monday. So Monday is going to be Hoover Dam and Grand Canyon West Rim. The, the, the North Rim is about four hours away. I'm not into that kind of driving. But yeah. Jabonga Fed. Man is on respect, brother. Good evening, man. Welcome aboard, Jabonga Fed. Glad to have you in the streaming chat, sir. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. All right, let's go, you. Let's go, Pratt and Whitney's livery. And here we are, UPS for the win. Uh, we are in KRIC, Richmond, Virginia, which we'll be back to. And we were at you set as departure hopefully nobody's on the gate let's do let's do let's do it do i fly the fa-18 no not at all captain edwards no fa-18 man you should check out the helicopter tours they fly directly over the grand canyon and do a scenic flight over vegas trip really they also go over the vegas trip kill my skills Ooh. <laughs> man i don't know tempting i got a vendetta with ups i was supposed to get a new monitor today they claim they left a notice and not oh they probably didn't ring your doorbell um, Kenny, I hate when they do that. They just like run and say they try to deliver it and they didn't deliver it. That sucks, man. What a lose. What a lose, man. It's a beautiful drive. It'll be hot. Yeah, it's going to be hot. For real, man. Andy says, next year I'll be there. Family decided to come visit this that weekend. I know, Andy. I know, man. Next time, bro. Hoover Dam is a sight. Just hope it's not hot. That It's going to be hot. It's summertime. It's going to be probably 120 degrees. I'm betting on it. For FS Expo, I'm arriving 
Thursday afternoon, but departing Sunday at noon. Captain Puck, Shark, no problem, brother. Benny, Benny, what's up, sir? Long time I've seen, man. Long time as over a week, Benny, Benny. Big up, man. Fly Life said, went to the Hoover Dam, Grand Canyon last October. Worth every second to be there. Lake Mead National Park around Vegas. Also. Ooh. Thank you, Fly Life. Lake Mead National Park. Hey, babe. I gotta let the hand of God put that on the agenda too. Lake Mead National Park. Glad you said that. Glad you said that. Deborah Reef Rita, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. What rudder pedals are you using? These are the uh, TPRs. These are the, the TPRs, the Thrustmaster TPR rudder pedals. What we're rocking? We're rocking the um, the the Tiller from CST Gaming. And Thrustmaster Yoke, etc. And Throttle. Oh, that's what we're rocking. That's what we're rocking today. But yeah, man. But yeah, that's it. So I'm, I'm looking, I'm counting down. What are we in? Uh, March? April, May, June. Three months. Tyler Berg, one year. Thank you, Tyler. Good evening, brother. Welcome aboard, man. Thank you so much. Dude, that's 10 minutes for this to load up. It's loading up everything in my my community folder. Big up, Tyler. Thanks for the 12 months. Appreciate it, sir. Appreciate that, man. Welcome aboard, man. Welcome aboard. Sorry for the delayed start here because of me not updating the plane properly, etc., etc. One and a half months basically killed my skills. Yeah. So leaving Vegas, I'm leaving Tuesday night about what? 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. It's a red-eye flight. Get back to Fort Lauderdale at 6 a.m. in the morning, Wednesday morning. So we're going to be sleeping on that flight. All right, come on, airplane. It doesn't take this long to load up, does it really? Holy crap. Fall asleep right now. Just watching the last 2% load. Bruh. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I bought my uh, camel back with me. Yo, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 112 degrees uh, three years ago. Camel back. You know what? I need to get it. I need to get another camel back. I had one a long time ago when I used to roll a bit a lot. That would keep you hydrated, Big Ralph. That is true. Keeps it cool and hydrated, too. I think I might do that as well. All right, there we go. Oh, these engines. Look similar. Alright. Who is here to verify these engines? Boeing 787. Are we are we correct now? Are we engines good? 787 fan. Are we on the right engines? Is that us right there, bro? Are we good? Alright, so we're connected. Nobody's at our gate. We're good to go. Let's come up here. Make sure we are good. Oh, I don't have any views for this airplane. No way. I have no views. This is a brand new airplane. All right, you guys get to see. Watch me set my views on this. Let's go. You set. Let's go. You. You set. You set. That's good to go. Let's go set you. For that, that's good. You turn around, walk out. Captain Shark, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Captain Shark. Thank you, thank you so much for the two dollar bombs. Captain Shark says, Don't forget to sign up for ATC Tour on Friday. Uh, yeah, that's right. ATC Tour is going to be something big for Friday. Let's go, you. Can we go outside? Can we open it from here? I might miss it though. I, I'm probably not, to be honest, I'm probably not going to sign up for any one of the tours. Uh, just because I don't know. Let's see. Can that open without the hydraulics on in the airplane or power? Is it opening? Oh. Alright, let's go fire up the airplane real quick. Let's go. Uh, let's come up here and we're gonna go battery. One, two, three. Sure, power available. 
texting, texting to one way. Open you, open you, open you, open you, open you. Left steer, right steer. We don't need luggage, and that ought to do it for us. There she goes. Don't forget to sign up for the ATC tour on Friday. Yeah, um, Captain Shark, ATC tour on Friday. I'm not sure if I want to go on the tour and miss a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? That's the only thing, but I'll think about it, man. Um, Thank you so much, brother. Rookie! Final, three, four. Yes, yes! What's going on, Rookie? Can't wait for Expo, Rookie. I know you're going to be there, right? Are you driving down or flying down, bro? Let me know, man. Rookie, thanks for the $2 bomb, brother. Appreciate it. Big up yourself. Welcome aboard. Hope all is well with you and the fam. Anderson, brother. Big up yourself, Rookie. Thank you so much, man. Definitely, man. <clears throat> Captain Monko, what's up? Welcome board, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, the doors can do a lot of things, guys. The doors can do a lot of things in this thing. Definitely. Yes, room. yes, yes. UPS Ops, brown heart, yellow heart, brown heart, yellow Flying heart. Flying in, rookie. Nice. Nice, brother. Nice. Why can't we get this cargo door open? All right, let's try that again. Let's go to... We have to hold it. Whatever it is, yeah. Doors open now. This way we can go get our wing view. There we go. Wing view for the win. Hopefully we can save that as a wing view. Let's go ahead and continue. I'm gonna have to do like um, a fake wing view for now. It's gonna stop me from going outside, isn't it? Nope. Oh yes, it does. Oh come on. Attention, uh, Richmond traffic. Delta 919 texting off. the door? Off the Henry, at the Henry 3. There we but, go. Uh, Let's go you. I was going to set a couple wing views, guys. Give me a sec. Right here. Okay, let's go you. All right, cool. We got the wing views saved. Let's go set up our airplane. Let's go fly, man. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we have that. We have that. Um, let's go here and import our flight information. Uh, my flight. And, oh, do we need to put in import from Simbri? We're probably going to have to put it now. It's there. Richmond to Miami International Airport. That's good to go. There's your routing. And um, we can view our flight plan. There is our flight plan there. That's good. Let's go to ground ops. And uh, everything is good on the ground ops page. Where is our weight and balance page? What are we taking today? We're taking our racing team, parts transport, horse transport. Let's take some horse transport today. Update from Simbrief. There it is. And apply load to airplane. There it is. Good to go. So that's what we're taking. We're taking some horse. Oh, we got horses. Look at that. Bruh. That's crazy. All right, we're going to go check out the cargo here later on. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. That wing view won't work when the door is closed. Is it Captain Nolan? So we're going to have to do the old-fashioned way. All right, no worries. Uh, let's go to the um, init page. We're going K-R-I-C, Richmond, to uh, K-M-I-A. We're taking horses to Miami, basically. There it is. Cool beans. Hit the return button. Um... Cruise and cost index. Let's go ahead and look at you here. Let's go home. And let's go you. Let's go my flight. And we can look at everything here. So, cost index is 23. And the cruise altitude is going to be 34,000 feet. So, 23. 340 on that. Good. Nope. That is wrong. Flight ID is UPS. 2806. We are good. Awesome. And that's going to be our flight plan there. Uh, we won't really have any noise on this airplane because there's no passengers to walk on and annoy us, but it's all good. Um, we'll double check the fueling and all that good stuff. Let's just put in our flight plan in the meantime. So, runway 34 via the Cali 7 to Drake. So, departure, Sid. Cali 7, Drake 3-4. That's good. We're going to insert that. 
And then from Drake, we have several waypoints to do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dan Barry just dropped in and bombed us with five gifted memberships. Dan, what's going on, my brother? Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Defender721, Narish, Fran, Dougal McCavish, <laughs> Captain Nolan, please say thank you to Dan Berry for dropping the membership on the channel. Big up, Dan. Thank you, bro. What's up, man? Welcome aboard, Dan. Thank you, thank you for the continued support, bro. Appreciate it, man. Big up, self. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, man. All right, we're doing a GSO to Quebec 75 to slow Joe. So, GSO. Quebec 75 to Slow Joe. There it is. Slow Joe. There it is. Insert that. And then from Slow Joe, uh, we're looking at Quebec 82 to Jebet. Quebec 97. Quebec 83. Okay, to Slow Joe, then 97. Now to Javid, then from Javid to 97. And that's going to dump us out on um, Debril to the coastal 2, 2 6 left. Debril, coastal 2, 2 6 left. Star. Postal to Debro, two six left for now, and uh, Postal two Debro, two six left. Insert flight plan is in, ladies and gents. Flight plan is in, man. Absolutely, man. <clears throat> Big up, self. What's going on, sir? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, cool. Tony MC, what's up, brother? Good evening, man. Welcome aboard, sir. Let me go ahead and go on to the APU master here, because we're going to start it here shortly. And we're going to hit the start button. We want to hear this APU fire up, see what it sounds like for us. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And our auto APC says that our squawk code is going to be what? 3624 on the squawk. Sherwin Scott is looking forward to what you think about the new ground handling. This plane takes advantage of. All right, Sherwin, we got our tiller, man. We got our tiller right here, so we'll see how that works out. So Squawk is 3624. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is my volume up on that? Yeah, volume is up on that. Good go. 3624 on the Squawk. Oh, does this have the new panel in it? It does, doesn't it? Oh, crap. 3624. This does have the new panel. And I have no idea how to use it. Um, uh, where is the button for the regular use menu? No. A cars ATC, A cars message, SAT maintenance, SAT dial. Uh, tune, there we go. 3624. So that's her com. That's her TCAS 10 by. So 3624 goes here. Oh, yes. And we're in standby mode right now. Here's our comms 122.8. All right, good. Good to go. We figured it out. Not bad. Thank you, Defender 721. Appreciate it. Appreciate that, sir. All right. APU is good. Galley can't come on. All of these buttons can't come on. Oh, these are going to go off because... That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we can... Ground power is there. That's fine. We don't need that anymore. Uh, let's double check our fuel and stuff. Uh, we could do the window heat uh, in the meantime. We'll leave... Uh, that's good. No, I'm sorry. This is the probe heat. Turn those off. Let's do our seatbelt signs. Let the horses sit down so we can be good. Not bad. 
All right, um, let's see. Iris is still coming up. We're not fully aligned yet. We'll wait on that. Uh, all the doors are open. Let's go check our fueling, make sure we're going to be good on that, the fueling and stuff. So no passengers. Cargo is 98.8. Payload is 98.8. Zero fuel width is 276. Fuel is 38.7. So 38.7 on the fuel. Weight and balance. That's the payload. 38.7. Um, shouldn't we have a weight and balance? So fuel is 38.7. That's from Simbrief. Can we overtype this and make it uh, 40? Yeah, let's go ahead and overtype this. 40,000. 40.0. 40.0. Oh. No. Dot O. Oh. Apply load to aircraft. There it is. So 40 is in on the fuel. Let's go ahead and double check that. Make sure we got 40. If we can do maths, we're looking at uh, 22 plus 16. That's uh, 32 plus, yeah, that's basically 40. All right, good. All right, so we're good there. And APU is running. All right, cool. Not bad, not bad, I mean. Oh, I didn't align it in the init page. Init, align IRS, forgot to align it. Sorry, sir. There we go. So that should be aligning now, surely. And Let's see how many minutes. Let me go ahead and cage you, and then we're going to be good. Awesome. All right, that's good. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're just going to wait for that. Where is my alignment time in this? Does it show time to alignment and all that good stuff? Not really. APU is running external power connector. Let's dis disconnect external power star, closing up some doors here. Uh, we should be good to go. Let's go to ground equipment. We're going to... Um, right stairs can go ground power unit can go I'm gonna close you close you close you and close you we got two more doors that are open there we go doors are closing awesome yeah tech my it i think those switches have to come on when the um the iris is aligned i could be wrong let me try it again nope uh, they did stay they did keep no yeah iris has got to be aligned and stuff first before they stay on but that's fine uh, seatbelt sign, no smoking sign, nav light is on, that's good. We're just waiting for the alignment to come through. Where is the timer for the alignment? Does it have it on here? I don't know if it does or not. The countdown timer. Probably does not. It's an older plane. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. All right, we're almost ready to go, ladies and gents. One horses. <laughs> All right, that one view seems to have worked. Let me come over here and see if we can do the wing views over here and save those. Hopefully that works. No. So maybe the back ones will work in the meantime. Let me go see if I can do a back wing view. We're going to try. Try a little tenderness. Try one from this window here in the back. Save. So we got that. We got that one. We got that one. And we have that one. Hopefully that gets saved. I don't know if it will or not. You know what? Let me go from the front door. Hold on. Let me see if I can go through the front door and create these on this side. It's a possibility. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it from you. Let's go. Save that. While my iris is aligned, I'm just trying to configure all my wing views here. Let's see if I can get away and cheat on it. Let's do that one. Let's see if I can get past the plane. No, it's not working. Can't get back there. All right, maybe we can close the door. <clears throat> Yo, Wilfredo, what's going on, sir? Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome. Big up self. You can use the iris panel on the overhead, flip it to status, and it displays the, the align time. Let's try that. 
iris panel on the overhead. Flip it to status. Is it this one? STS. Two minutes. All right. Two minutes. And we are aligned. We're going to be good. Awesome. All right. In the meantime, between time, uh, let's go ahead and start working on some perf calcs. What was our weather, by the way? Uh, we could build up Navigrav charts as well. Um, Richmond. Uh, airport. Are we going to pin that? Ooh. Seems faster. That's pretty cool. Charts pin. Let's go. The departure for us was the Cali 7. That's good. Uh, let's go to pinned. See where we are, what our pushback is going to be. So we are here. We're using 3 4. Holy moly, it's a long taxi. Taxi is like 20 minutes. Pushback, nose right. We're going to go to uniform Charlie Lima for three four all right uniform trailer lima for three four uh, as far as our departure is concerned uh taking off three four to the north we're going to make a left turn to sugar at five and cali top altitude is five thousand so we're looking at five thousand for the top altitude on this come on iris align please uh, we got one minute left so five thousand is going to be the top altitude on that all right we'll see we'll wait yeah, we did click the Align RS. we got one minute to go. All right, so 5,000 top altitudes. Long taxi on this, so we're going to be good. <clears throat> Almost ready to go. Almost ready to go, um, Boeing 7-8 fan. So top is 5. That's good. Push back nose to the right side to get out of this area. That's fine. Uh, we can close up our last door here. Let's go ahead and close up the cargo. That is going to be closing. I love watching this cargo door closed. All right, that cargo door is closed. Can we still get our wing view? Yeah. Will it allow us to go to the back of the airplane with the door closed? Yes, it does. Sweet. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to be fine. Yeah, what's the METAR? What's the altimeter here? Nobody knows. What's our altimeter? All right, and we're going to go that wing view here. And that's going to be four, and we got one more in the back for seven, and we're going to be good all, all our wings. Back here, and we'll save that. As, all right, so that's saved, that's saved, that's saved, that's saved. All right, not much we could do. We just have to wait. What's going on, Owen Tomlinson? Big up, brother. What's going on, Owen? Owen, did you go to um, the Juicy Party down in um, Miramar, bro? Uh, down in uh, Hollywood? I hope you did, man. Big up yourself, Owen. Big up, big up, big up. 1015 is the altimeter. Altimeter is 1015. And that in Freedom Units is going to be 299 or 7. Nine 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 seven once twice three times all right that's good errors our irs is aligned let me just run through the plan mode real quick let's go to plan constraints can come on in the meantime so we're going to take off left turn to sugar and we're going to go west and then south then down the coastline of florida we're going to get to miami when we get to miami we're going to go Ooh, we're landing on the two eights oh we're landing inland Across the water that's gonna be spicy all right flight plan is good ladies and gents that's fine indeed uh, we should be able to do you and you now uh, we did say we're gonna maintain 5,000 on the altitude no wrong selector 5,000 there we go that's what selected let's go do our perf and then we can get the stepping out of here let's go let's go to takeoff uh, runway three four um, heading 338 dry conditions winds are. Can we get the METARs? Let me grab the METAR real quick. Uh, a Rick Atis. A-T-I-S. Let's go. Alright, Atis uh, right now in Richmond is what? I don't want a live ATC. I want an Atis. Come on. What 
What is the ATIS? Doesn't say. Um, hold on a second. Nope, we can't get the ATIS there, can we? We have one more way to get this. We want to make sure the ATIS is current. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's go you. I wonder if this is illegal, what I'm about to do. 804, 236, 1091. We're rocking real weather, real time. Oh boy. Three five zero at twenty. Thirteen. All right, cool. We got the ATIS. There you go. <laughs> We're good to go. Um, the total weight. Um, can we import the total weight or no? So we have to go here. Got to go to weight and balance. Uh, we're looking at the zero fuel weight is 276. Total is 313. 276 or 313.5. 313.5. 15, 15 air conditions on anti-ice off, four to off. Let's go ahead and calculate that bad boy. And uh, what are we flex temping it to? That doesn't give us flex temp at all. Hmm, interesting. Sync button. That's sync the... Oh, uh, there we go. All right, we got it good. So, um, how do we get our flex on this? Does it not give us flex? It's interesting. Uh, what type of cargo are we hauling today, Captain K? This type of cargo. Horses, bro. We got horses up in here. That's what that's what we're rocking. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the recalculate button. Calculate. Flex them. 53. 49, 49, 52. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So flex is 53. Let's go ahead and do it over there before I forget. So we're going to do flex 53 1 2 and 3 uh, we can't import can we I don't think we can import on uh, on the Microsoft version of this let's go to menu uh, let's go to FMS uh, nope uh, we're going to what take off and uh, let's put our V speed yo big up yourself Owen Tomlinson thanks for the $5 bomb brother appreciate it man big up big up big up big up welcome 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 cheers man thank you brother Appreciate it. Definitely. So 49, 49, and 52. So 149. One forty nine. One fifty two. There we go. Cool. And that didn't take. So we gotta do Do we still put two fifty up here? Is that what we still do now? Did they did they correct that? Do we still Put 250 in the mock speed. Just, just curious. I'm gonna put 250 anyway. There we go. 250. That's what I was told to do. 250. We're gonna do our profile climb uh, and nav on you, and we're gonna do 340 on the heading on this. We have the 5,000 feet set. We're gonna be good to go. Uh, what's my trim? My trim is um, 0 0.1 down. 0 0.1 down on the trim. Yeah. So we're good to go. Guys, I think we're ready. Aircraft is set. We got one door open. We got ADIS. We got all the good stuff. And uh, let's push back and get out of here. Put my V2. Does V2 actually work? Or do I put 250? Set your speed from the calculations and click up on the wheel and set 250. Yeah, all right. So there we go. 250 is set. All right, good to go. I think we are good. Uh, let's go ahead and close up the doors. Get the stepping out of here. Man, I don't remember how to fly. Remember how to fly? Let's go to ground and equipment. We're going to close that door. Doors in transit. Are we going to arm all doors once that closes? Make sure we're good. And then we're going to remove the left steer. We're going to remove the chocks. And we're going to arm all doors. All doors are armed, ladies and gentlemen. Good to go. 
and we are good to go. Let's go put on our beacon lights, get a pushback. Let's come up here and the beacon zone. Let's rock the block clock over here. Yo, big up yourself, Owen. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Let's go ahead and rock you. Cool. And let's go ahead and get GSX and push back. Let's go GSX. Where are you? I didn't update. Hopefully you're not breaking. Need to set parking brakes to request ground services. Oh, my bad. Park brake set. Uh, let's go GSX. And we're going to do, uh, is it nose to the right, I said? Prepare for pushback and departure. Yeah, nose right. Oh, we can go nose left. Nose right on this. Let's go. All right, let's do it. On the speed, you put the V2 speed. Uh, now, Whitson Williams, I was told, don't do that. Just use 250. So, can we go there? So, the V2 speed they were giving us was um, one... They were giving us uh, 152 on the V2. All right, so I'm going to split the baby in half here. 152 versus 250, we'll make it 180. How about that? Just in case. We'll do that. V2 Departure plus 15. How about that? There we go. Captain Edward Pollock, what's on, sir? Welcome aboard, man. I have this aircraft, but I haven't flown it yet. Intimidates the crap out of me. <laughs> Cali Simmer, fly it, man. It's a good airplane, brother. It is a good airplane. Uh, did we turn on the beacon lights? Yeah, beacon light is on. Block time clock is running. Seatbelt signs are on, even though it's just horses. There's the block clock. Uh, Locking gear. All right, here's GSX doing GSX things. And we need to be pushing back here shortly. And we're going to be good. Awesome. Right click the knob to preset it. it says uh, Tech My IT. Right click which one? The knob up top. Gotcha. Yo, Mr. Kung Carnage. Wagwan Bridging. What's up, man? Wagwan Popcorn. Big up. Remember the Trans State Airlines? It's so the training for the crew was in the hangar on the millionaire side brings back memories. Jet kid, I'm telling you, knows right. Release parking brakes, please. All right, here we go. And Richmond traffic, UPS 2806, pushing back from spot 34. Traffic. Good parking brake can be released. Uh, quick spots. Commencing push. All right, All time to fire Starting up these wheel. engines and get this bad boy started. Here we go. We're pushing. All right. Let's see if we remember how to start up an A300. We're going to go to start mode B. Why not? We're going to start with engine number one because it's an Airbus. And let's go ahead and hit the start mode. That should be automatic. The gauges are different. Oh, no. You know what? We don't have bleed. We never had bleed. Bleed on. There it is. Cool. Here it is, and two. And two, and two, and two. Let's fire it up. Find a hole. And we're going to give it some fuel here. Let's listen to it. Oh, yes. Let's get this bird in the air drop zone exactly, man. Let's do it. Oh, I love the outside sounds. Nice. Please set parking brake. Parking brake can be set. Good, good. Unlocking gear. He's unlocking gear. And let's look at our thingamajig. Eper is 1.0. That's good. I think that engine started up already. EGT is decreasing. That's good. So we have one engine available. Let's go to engine number DOS. I'm going to start you. N2 rotation is good. Get it up to 20%. Throw some fuel. 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. Now let's throw some fuel in there. Here comes fuel. Not him up. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. That hum sound is nice. I love that. Pretty Left good. is clear. Right is clear. Rip ears. But what's going on with my nose was down. Uh, 
Alright, he's got the pin in his hand. Thank you, sir. See you later, man. Good to go. Alright, cool beans. Hey, Siri, stop it. Let's go ahead and go to fuel tanks and come on. No. That's good. Let's go to Peter Heat Bleed is on. That's good. We got two good engines. Let's go back to the start mode is off. APU is off. Ignition is going to be continuous on that. All right. External is good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Everything is good in the overhead. Uh, let's look at this. Continuous relight is on, park brakes on, seatbelt signs on, the gas is on standby. We actually need to go to squawk mode, Charlie on you. Cyclist, TARA is good. And we need to do a couple of things here. First, flight control checks. My rudder is, for some reason, locked to one side. We'll check it out later. Let's go right side is good. Nose up. Left side. Nose down. That is good. That is good. Actually, up and down is good as well. Yep, goes up. Goes down. Uh, what's going on with rudder, though? Mr. Whitson Williams, what's going on, sir? Welcome aboard. Rudder, why are you doing that? Rudder is being affected by what? My tiller is not. Oh, hold on a sec. Let's try that. Make sure. Customize. Go back. Resume. There it is. So, tiller. Right side tiller. Left side tiller. No. My tiller is working. That's good. But my my rudder pedals are jacked. Are they? Is that what it's like? Yeah, rudder pedals is jacked. That's Oliver Ballet here. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Big up, big up, sir, Oliver. Yeah, my... Hold on a sec, guys. Let's go you. Let's go control options. Uh, let's go to... That's tiller. Rudder. Why is my rudder fly control primary? Ooh. Why is my rudder axis like that? interesting. Go back. Fly and save. Resume. Um, I have not touched anything in my sim. Why is my rudder like... Is there some kind of rudder assist on or something like that that I don't know about? Let's just do this. That's the throttle. That wouldn't be it. Reverse on axis. No. Um, start calibration. Set idle position. Set. Set toga position. Set. Alright, that's good. Huh. What is up with that? Yeah, we got some rudder issues, ladies and gents. See, my rudder is like not on the axis, correct axis. All right, let me do this. Hold on, I'm gonna unplug my rudder and plug it back in. That could be it. I've seen that before. I'm being away for a minute. Let's see if that fixes it at all. What? Okay, that's new. Let me see if I can taxi out here. Hold on a sec. Let me go ahead and release the parking brake. Big spots. Let's go. All right, let's taxi this bad boy. I'm curious to know if we can taxi it out of here without the rudder being an issue. Let's go. Lord Jonas, what's going on, brother? Killer works. Rudder is on this whole different thing. It's interesting. Time to get all the bags and passengers off. Uh, there's no passengers today. Just bags. Hmm. 
rudder is still cocked to one side. Anybody experience that? Yeah, as soon as you touch it, it, it flips on you. My tow brake works. That's good. Anyway, let's taxi out of here. Let's go. Oh, you know what it is. Let me unplug my Xbox controller. That could be causing an issue. Xbox controller, are you causing an issue today? You have in the past. Where's the Xbox controller? But anyway, let's taxi out of here. Let's go. Uh, drop zone. I was drinking some coconut water earlier, man. All right, we got no traffic off to our right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to have to delete the profile and reconfigure it. That might be what I have to do. Right, we need to follow that bird right there. If I'm not mistaken on the charts. left and right on Echo. Actually, you know what? I could have gone a different way. Let's go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go that way on the taxi. We can uh, take Mike all the way across. Yeah, we can take Mike all the way across. Why not? Let's start Appleton Rum. Nice. What's going on, Rich S? Welcome aboard, brother. How you doing? Glad to have you on board, my friend. Appreciate you hanging out with us. And Richmond traffic, UPS 2806, we'll be uh, crossing uh, runway 02 threshold traffic at uniform. Alright, got nobody there. Slow it down. We're gonna make a left over here. Slow down, there, bro. Slow down. Let's go. Am I gonna be flying during the solar eclipse? I don't know. Should have flown with you. I'm in a long waiting line at departure at Edinburgh. Oh, sorry to hear that, Dougal. Yeah, man. You guys, you know how you guys get in Europe on the weekends. You guys get out of hand with the traffic. That's a lot of traffic, too. Oh, sh sorry. Cross here to make a right and go to our runway. And we're gonna be good. Uh, we got nobody there. It's fine. We're gonna keep it up here, man. Alright, we're taking a shortcut. There we go. That's our taxi. All right, cool beans. Uh, Juan Pena, unfortunately, there's not repairs. There's not an aircraft tiller available on the market yet for sale like this one. Unfortunately, there is There is not available for sale right now on the market. This is just made by CST Gaming as a, a gift to the channel. So yeah. And he gives away from time to time, so watch watch out on his channel for giveaways. What's up, Greg Hill? Big up, brother. How you doing, Greg? What's up, man? Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Greg. Uh, Sherwin, the ground handling is fine, except my rudder uh, is having issues. I don't know what's going on with my rudder. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's like stuck or something. In one, one, it's deflected in one direction for some reason. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Other than that, uh, Taylor seems to be fine. John boy, J boy, John, what's up, J boy? What's up, man? Welcome aboard, J boy. XP, where did you get the Taylor from? It's just for Airbus. No, I well, I'm gonna use this on a Boeing as well. I have a way to use it on a Boeing. It is an Airbus style Taylor, 
but it can use it. You can press B using a Boeing as well, J Boy. It's made by CST Gaming. He made it. Um, you gotta check out his channel. He doesn't sell them, but he gives them away from time to time. Check out his channel, and he might have um, ones to give away. So I know he gave away one last night, but that's where I got it from. Look at the crosswind on that. Ish. That's what we're gonna be facing on takeoff. Crazy. Let's go. But J Boy, John, thanks for the five dollar bomb, brother. Appreciate it, man. Big up, J Boy. Good evening and good afternoon, sir. Thank you, thank you so much. They moved the toga button to a place on the glare shield similar to the PMDGR. We gotta find that, Jay. Yes, yes, pilot depth. What's up, bro? Hey, XP, where did you get the tiller from? Is Someone's it just taken for off. Airbus? Yeah, CST Gaming. Um, I got it from um, J Boy. CST Gaming. That's where it came from. Thanks for the support, man. I'm back, Fireball. We had work, man. We had work and other things going on, so we're back. We're back now, my friend. Oh, that sound is nice. Good to go. I had similar issues with my rudder with this plane. It might mess up your takeoff. Be careful. Mm. So, Sherwin, how did you fix it? How did you fix that? That's the question. How did you get it to fix? The screw is next to the auto throttle button. So is it, uh, that's auto throttle, is it that? No, is it? I don't see a screw next to the auto throttle. What screw? I don't see a screw. I don't see that. Oh, that one right there? Okay. That's probably what it is. Yeah, there's something going on with the rudder pedals with this plane. I don't know what it is. Oh, flaps. Yeah, flaps, flaps, flaps. Flaps are what? 15, 15? Yeah, Sherwin, how did you fix the rudder issue? Because there is a rudder issue going on right now. Feel it, man. Am I going to get the A380? Yes. I'm going to definitely get the A380 on this. Yeah, A380 is a must. Definitely. All right, no smoking is on. Continue is on. Seatbelt is on. We did a flight control check already. Right, left. Uh, let's make sure our flaps are good. Flap is 15. Was it 15, 15 for the flap? Here we go. 15, 15 should be coming out right there. And that would make our config good. I like planes. What's up, man? Good afternoon, bro. You're taxiing too fast, the tiller has no effect on this. It looks like I'm going slow, but I'm going fast for this thing. Who's that landing? Come on, butter it, butter it. Nice, nice landing. Good to go. Day boy John again says you should check out Pilot's Life. I think you might like flying a real world routes for the all platforms. So I've been checking out Blues and talking to Blue about Pilot Life. Uh, J boy John, check out Pilot's Life. I think you might like it flying real world routes for all platforms. Yeah, I might consider it, J boy John, because I've been watching Blue Games uh, does do his Pilot Life and he's loving it. You know, it's absolutely. Fantastic for him to fly, so that might be one thing that I check out, brother. Appreciate the five hour bomb, uh, J Boy. Appreciate it, man. But yeah, uh, it's something I might look into in the future. Absolutely. I'm loving what Bruce doing with that thing. So yeah. 
We should be good, man. All right, let's go. Let's hold short here for a second. Uh, let's get our charts up for that. Cool. And Richmond traffic. UPS 2806 lining up in wave one way, three, four traffic. All right, cool. A right, couple of things that we need to do. Let's go ahead and bring on uh, all the lights can come on here. Strokes can come on. Notes. Land. Let's go ahead and start the clock over here. So we have our flight time and auto we do profile nav auto throttle. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're ready? Let's go guys. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's go. Greetings from Germany. Cargo pilot, what's up? Welcome aboard. Somebody's going around. Final, we made our radio call. Let's go, let's go. Slow you down and turn you here. Am I ready for the solar eclipse? Yeah, Roger Guru? Yeah, sure, absolutely. I think I've seen only one in my life when I was a kid. It was crazy. Alright, let's line this bad boy up. Let's hold it here. Are you guys ready? Let's listen to these engines. Hold them up. Let's go. And let's hit the hill down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Yeah, these rudders have an issue. I don't know how we're going to land this thing, this bad boy. With the rudders deflecting like this. The rudders are deflecting left and right, guys. We're going to go with it. I think we can manage it. Airspeed's alive. 100 knots. 140. Stand around me. Welcome back to streaming. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to streaming. Welcome, 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 welcome back to streaming. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. 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 Maybe our auto resistance is on. Um, could be. Uh, those poor boxes, no, those poor horses, that's the problem. Yes. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Also had the same problem with rudder on takeoff as well, Florida man says. Is it the specific plane? Because the other one doesn't behave like this. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Horses made their deposit. Second crash I've seen with this plane. wonder what the conflict was. I don't know. Well, I did warn him, but I was hoping that it would be all right. You need a phone number for you to call, I know. Yeah. 
yeah, welcome back. First day back. So there is an issue I'm having with this particular plane and the rudders that I thought would straighten itself out on takeoff roll, and it did not. Jump into the trusted 787-9. <laughs> J-Boy Chad. All that setup. Oh, my word. Oh, J-Boy Chad. Thanks for the $2 bomb, man. Oh, my word. You guys really want to stream? <laughs> are, the, are the horses insured? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay, so... This rudder pedal, we can't fly with it like that, and I, I've i never had that with any other plane, so I have no idea what the story is going to be with that. Let me just see something here. Let's just figure that out. I, and I was hoping to do a couple of legs today, but I, I guess not. So, see, the rudder is stuck to one side or the other. See that? It's stuck to the right side for some reason. And I am not sure why. And I saw it on the nose wheel steering. Just jump in the trusted 787 to 9 XP. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the beauties, the beauties, the beauties. The beauties, the beauties, the beauties, the beauties of streaming. Yeah. Yeah, we thought we had it under control. We did not. Uh, definitely didn't at all. Uh, that's cool. Uh, let's go, you. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Uh, I can set this up real quick. It's not a problem. Uh, K R I C to uh, K. -M. We're not going to get to Miami today, are we? We're probably not going to get to Miami. Uh, let's do that. Let's align the IRS return. Hold on a sec. We gotta figure this rudder thing out. Anybody, anybody at all knows what's going on with it? Like, why does it do that? Um, I don't know. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm just gonna start a plane here real quick, and then we can find out what's going on with the rudder pedals, because clearly it's not working. Uh, hold on, that's fine. All right, so let's do this. I did unplug the rudder already. I unplugged my, um, my, I unplugged my, um, my controller. That's good. Um, see, if I unplug the rudder again, let's do it again. It's unplugged. It's plugged back in. Doesn't make a difference. It doesn't center, right? So, that is the issue. Settings in the tablet. All right, let's go to tablet settings. Let's go you. Let's go to settings. The only thing that's in here is Hoppy, Navigraph, uh, Rudder Controls Tiller. Oh, could that be it? Nope, still stuck. Tiller does tiller things. There's a tiller. That works fine. But the rudder does not work at all. Rudder controls tiller is no. Okay. That's one setting that we can look at. Uh, I think the tiller is making the issue. No, uh, Arturo, it's not. Every, some other people have that. Auto rudder setter in Microsoft. Let's go control options, assistance options. There we go. And uh, user experience is... Where's the auto rudder thing in this? Hold on. Rudder. Auto rudder is off. The auto rudder is off as well. I know I don't know that reverse thrust is broken on many planes since the update, so maybe it's just this plane. Hmm, J Boy John. Could be man. Could be, could be. Thank you for the, the five dollar bomb, J Boy. Appreciate it. So it's not auto rudder at all. Um let's go back here. I'm, I want to try another plane because I've never had this before. And I might... Let me turn off the tiller. Here we go. Tiller is off. Same thing. Yeah, there it is. It's just offset to one side. Apparently there's a Breedock A3... Big Ralph. 
All right, let's go ahead and recal at Microsoft. Hold on, let's try that and see. There is. I do know that reverse thrust is broken on many planes since the update, so maybe it's just this plane. Uh, let's go to Pendula Rudder. Uh, the toe brakes work. There's the toe brakes, and they work as they should. They are axes, but the uh, um, primary control surface, which is the rudder axis, it's either full or off. Look at that. If I touch it, right? See? It's either full deflection or off. Yeah. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Yeah, I replugged the rudders. Did it two times already. Sounds like the activator in the rudder. Okay, all right. Let's do this. All right. Stick a pin on this. Hold on a sec. Since we're going to be doing this thing today, let's just try another airplane. Machines and giggles. I'm just curious now to see if it's the airplane, if it's my rudder, it's Microsoft, it's a setting. We'll just do that. Yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, we'll see. All right, 70 fan, take care, man. Absolutely. Let's go for something else. Uh, aircraft selection. Let's go for the Phoenix. Let's go K Rick. Uh, right where we were. That's fine. And let's go. Before before we restart Microsoft, we'll see what happens. Let's do that. I think it's the rudder. It's if it's reading like that, it's picking up from the hardware, says Malik. Could be. Hmm. No, I I I haven't tweaked any curves on this at all. Um I haven't tweaked any curves on this airplane at all. I just treat all these airplanes the same way. All right, the Phoenix is starting up. Let's see how long it takes to load, and let's just see. If it does it with the Phoenix, then it's got to be my rudder pedals or something else. Wow, that, that loaded quickly. Look at that. Go away, GSX. Oh, it's doing it's doing the same thing. Yeah, it's doing it with the Phoenix as well. What the fun? So it's got to be the Microsoft update that did that. Yeah, see, there it is. It's sticking to one side. That's interesting. Yeah. That is wild. It's... That is wild. Use my old pet. You know how long it'll take for me to switch these pedals out? Okay. What is going on? That's what happens when you turn off your computer for a week. Reset my computer. Yeah, if I reset my computer, everything dies. Try the next lane. <laughs> we do it here. Right, here's the rudder. Cool. Here is the primary flight control. All right, let's go you. See, here it is right here. If you look at the joystick left, it's sticking to the, the right side right there. It's not moving the way it should move. That's with everything disconnected and turned turned off. 
It's supposed to be a smooth left and right. It's not doing it. Is there a third-party app for the pedals you can check? No. Um, unless I check Thrustmaster. Um, Mr. Skylux, that I've did it four times already. Yeah. You need to update your driver's license. <laughs> true. True, 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 true. I don't think it's a software, uh, definitely hardware. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Let's disconnect it again. All right. So it's disconnected right now. And it disappeared. Let's go ahead and plug it back in. All right. It should pop back up here. Are you telling me my rudder pedals are dead? They're like broken. Here's the rudder. Uh, here's the sensitivity on it. There it is. Yeah. It's still doing the same thing. Look at this dot right here. It moves from left to right just by barely touching the rudder pedals. My rudder pedals are dead? Where was the, um, the joystick calibration thing here again? I forgot where that was, uh, Big Ralph. Joystick... Calibration. Was it on a device manager? Hold on. Was it under this here? Pendula rudder. There it is. Advanced. Okay. Pendula rudder. Let's go properties. Let's go properties on that. Yeah, it's it's stuck. See? Yeah, it's reset to default. Calibrate. Next. 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 Okay, there it is. Middle. Left right time to whip out the turtle beach next finished i think we're good now i think we're good now apply okay there it is i think we're good what the heck happened done done and go back apply and save resume there it is it's fixed are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Really? What? It is assigned multiple times. Huh. What happened? Of course. Well, you guys know me already. If it's supposed to happen to anybody, it's supposed to happen to me on stream. So, yeah. It's always calibration crap. Wow. Yeah. I've had the same thing happen to every Trustmaster product I've owned is Digital Merc. Wow. Well, you guys know me already. If it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen to me. <laughs> Why is my seat so far back? All right, let's go back. It's only been three hours since we started streaming. So, hey, we still haven't taken off the ground yet. And uh, <laughs> let's go to aircraft selection. We're doing an A300 uh, freighter, Pratt & Whitney. That's it. Let's go livery. Let's go uh, UPS. Let's go K Rick, Richmond International. We're gonna do that. Set as departure. We're gonna run through. We're flying today. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's always shenanigans, man. Yo, Skylux Absim. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> Bet you're glad you didn't do this last night after a long day. Hey, trust me, Andy. Last night would have been rage quit city any day. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I love your streams. Not only do you get fly information, but Windows <laughs> debug and drive information. Happy Saturday. What's going on, Cali Saber? Thanks for the two year, brother. Appreciate it, man. Oh, my word. You can say it again. You guys get every er, er, thing on this, man. It is, it, is, it is what it is. This is, you know, I guess other gamers go through other things with your game, but us simmers, man, just out of the blue, you just you get this kind of stuff. You know, GSX, leave me alone. All right, let me go. 
now it's working like it should. Let me go ahead and turn on back my... Let's turn on all the stuff that I disconnected. That's the tiller. Let's plug back in our controller here. Hold on. All right, a bunch of things plug back in. Tiller is doing tiller things, while rudder is doing rudder things. And toe brake right and left is good. All right, cool. Yeah, we're good. Good to go. Uh, Skylocks Aviation. I wish I was vacation, man. I wish it was vacation, brother. I wish it was. All right, let's go. That's good, that's good. Uh, let's run through the startup real quick. We know how to do that. We know we're taking horses and all that good stuff. That's fine. Uh, let's go to... Can you import the flight plan in this? Call route. Hey, Rick. To KMIA. Will it work? Will a company route work? Let's alternate call route. No? Doesn't work? We can't re request a call route or something like that in this thing? I don't know if we can, man. Alberto, a.k.a. Berta. What's going on, brother? Good evening, Alberto. Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can we can uh, request a call route on this thing, but hey, it's my flight plan. Let's go ahead and import from Simbrief. That's good. That's our flight plan. We're good to go. Let's go you. Let's go weight and balance. Uh, we're going to transport horses again if they trust us. Apply update from Simbrief. There we go. Uh, apply load to airplane. That applies. Your fuel weight is applied. Fuel is applied, all that good stuff is good, and it is being updated. You can import it. Um, is on its way. We'll see. How do you import it? That's a question. I don't know. Let's go K R I C to uh, K M I A. Return online IRS. That's confirmed. Yeah, but where is the button to import it from where? Like, how? Is it through the FMC? Or is it through the, um, the iPad? Menu A cars. Okay, menu A cars. Sim brief. Pending. Okay, there it is. Looks like it's in. Awesome. Cost index, we're going to make it 55. 34,000 feet. Oh, that's good. Flight ID. Now that's UPS. It's good. Is in position. Good to go. Flight plan is in. We just need to do the departure. Sid, awesome guys. You guys are the best. It was it Cali Seven? Two. Was it Drake or Read Me? I think it was Drake and Three Four. Cali Seven, Drake Three Four. Import. That's good. And they arrival into Miami. <clears throat> was the star was the was it the coastal too Do -do -do -ba -da. no don't no, pause there we go and we're looking at my flight the coastal two two six left all right that's good so we're looking at the coastal two via two six left what was the via again also to via was it that 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 via um, Deborah 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 also to Deborah import all right cool all right flight plan is in weight and fuel is gonna be in let me go ahead and, and um, fire up our APU master and start good to go look like our horses should be in the aircraft there they are already loaded ready to go you won't guess your delivery time oh wait no delivery time has been pushed back <laughs> that's it man delivery has been pushed back our right, APU is firing up that's good to go uh, as far as the fuel is concerned we'll count it up make sure that's in there nope no delivery time we get an update email from UPS Owen that's it updated from UPS all right, uh, 16 and uh, fuel is going in in the uh, tanks over here. It should be 11 and 11. All right, good. All right, that's good. Let me go ahead and connect you back to Batson. 
Yeah, no, no fuel pumps as yet. We'll let the fuel go in. We're almost there. Um, start the APU. APU is on and available. And let's go ahead and turn on the bleed. That's going to be good. Fueling is being loaded still. Uh, we could do the window heat in the meantime. It's good. Uh, it's available now. Let's go ground power king. Go. Let's go ground. Ground, ground, ground. Services. Um, let's go ground power. Chalks remain on for a second here. UPS deliver email expected shortly. A little shortly. A little bit. All right. Not bad, let's go. And while that's doing, we can work on our perf. Let's go you. Let's go take off. We're gonna sync that runway three four. And that is synced with the weather and so forth. Two nine nine or seven. Let's calculate that fifteen fifteen. Flex fifty eight, forty eight, forty eight, fifty one. We said I was 5,000. Lex is going to be 58. 7 and 8. That's good. Uh, our squawk code, I almost forgot, was... Squawk is 3624 on the tune. Uh, 3624. We're there already. Oh, come on. We can do it. Three, six, two, four. It goes here. We're on standby. All right, it's good. Two, two point eight is up. And um, yeah, we're waiting more than two hours late, man. My car is stuck at four thousand RPMs. Do you know what's wrong? Yeah, the throttle is stuck. Take the mat from under the throttle, man. That's it. <laughs> anyway, to speed up the IRS alignment on this, curious to know. Let's go. Let's go to settings, uh, instant iris alignment. Will it do it? Can we save that? Probably not. And let's go to Navigraph and uh, Rick Airport Ref. In that, that's good. All right, cool. All right, we're just waiting for the alignment. Are we going to be good? I guess it's not going to give me instant alignment now, is it? Let's go STS. Zero minutes. All right, cool. We're almost ready to go. And we'll push back and get stepping out of here. Dodgers fan, what's going on, brother? Happy Saturday, man. Seatbelt sign is on. No smoking is on. Nav is on, emergency light is on, and we're going to go beacon lights because we're closing the doors here. We're going to wait for the alignment to come. Let's hit you as far as block time is concerned, and there's our flight plan, and we're going to go. Let's go with GSX and request our pushback. GSX, prepare for departure and pushback, and we're going to be good there. Cool. All right, that's it. We've started up. We're going to do it one more time. Here comes the guy with the pin, or the girl with the pin. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Let's back. go! <laughs> yes, yes, Mr. Davis Ebert. What's going on, sir? Welcome aboard, man. I'm going to make up all the lost time in the stream. <laughs> Camp. We'll push it to Mach 0.87 in the A300 here. We're going to eventually make it. Are we rocking real time, by the way? I'm sure we're rocking real time in real weather. Uh, live weather is on. Live time is on. No, that's not correct. This is not right. Uh, we have 
live weather in real time. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, we're good. All right, let's go. Locking gear. NTS needs to speak to you first about the takeoff. Oh, I did not turn off the crash thing. Where was that again? That was in. Uh, it's just an option. Where's the crash thing, Emma Jiggy? Uh, it was under what? Off. 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 I think that's what it was. There we go. Realism, right? I, I hope we get that right. And then we're going to push back nose to the uh, left side. And then let's go. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen here. Why not? Nose left. Release parking brake. All right, parking brake can go. There it is. Make sure all the chocks and stuff are off. Push. All engines clear. Start at will. All right, cool. Let's go to start A. Start number two there. Watch your startup. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did I disconnect? Did I just disconnect some? Hope not. We'll check all those. And we can give it some fuel. They're starting up. Good go. Time for the road, the yeah, J-Man. Time for the road, man. Yeah, these are the P Pratt & Whitney's 4,000. That's what it is. Let's try it again. Rip ears. Looks like we got one good engine here. Let's go engine number two to start. Set parking brake. Parking brake can be set. Unlocking gear. And N2. And let's go fuel. Second takeoff attempt coming up, yes. Let's go. Now I gotta go upstairs for the, co the coconut water and the rum. That's what I'm feeling for now. Ears. Alright, so we got two good engine here. Let's go to continuous. That's good to go. Uh, let's go to auto brake to the max position. Let's go flap 15 15. Make sure that you are set. We gotta watch that. Make sure it goes to 15 15 there. And then we're gonna do some flight control checks, shall we? And we're gonna go to the uh, right side. Nose up. Left side, nose down, rudder right, rudder left. That is checked out, good. Always trust your minutes. 15, 15 is in the money. 
auto brake, max try to begin. Uh, let's see, auto brake. No, no, cool. Alright, good to go. Let's do some taxiing here, guys. I think we got it solved. And make our make sure our tiller is working. Tiller is working as well. Everything is clear of the aircraft. Let's go some lights and let's go taxi now. Alright, all our heats are on except the pedo heat. There we go. Window heat. Let's go taxi light. Can't go to taxi. And let's get this bad boy running. Let's turn you off. AP is off. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna make a left there and go across. Alright, park and break. Off. Wow. It's a good thing I have a whole day today. There we go, that feels better already. He passes off, yes, Jordan. You're right. Alright, that feels better. That actually feels better on a taxi already. Box shot, what's going on, sir? Welcome aboard, man. Big up, big up. Sounds good, too. Shortcut across this runway. Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna be a little short, but hey. Body there is good. Let's go to you. You are is good. Eh, got nobody here. Nobody there. Right turn. Go up and across this runway. Let's take it from the other side. It should be good. Take two. Take two, take two is correct, Mr. Carnage. Good thing we don't have passengers today. Smash that like button, guys. Three more likes, take off, hold your dice. There you go. Thank you, Andy. And Richmond traffic. FedEx 2806. Sorry, UPS 2806 crossing one way to Act Uniform traffic. Uh, good to see you back. Hopefully the second attempt goes well. I actually work for UPS Air in Norfolk, Virginia, so this is cool to see. Oh, David West. What's going on, David? Welcome aboard, man. UPS is everything, man. Use them all the time, bro. Love UPS. Love it, love it, love it. This thing is rolling nice now. Absolutely nice. All right, so we're going to cross here, go, and then make a right turn, go to our airport, our runways, and we're going to be good. All right, no traffic. Let's go. I finally bought my PC. So now I can flag a Nick and Nate. Congrats, man. Congrats, Nick. Congratulations. Let's go. All right, Jeremy, you're still on the ground behind us? Are you? Do the opposite. You're gonna brace for takeoff. <laughs> Still learning how to adjust to the tiller and the. Um... Doesn't look like I'm going fast until I turn sideways. Looks like I'm going slow right here, and then I turn sideways. And go. Wait a minute, dude. You're speeding. Slow it down. Third time's a charm. I know. Noise with the, the nose wheel sounds good. Slow down in the turns. Was it like 10 knots in the turns or 5 knots or something? Information Alpha. What's going on, sir? Good evening, Information Alpha. Welcome. Big up, big up, self. Prophet, this is Cayman 1520, Alan, this one we My radar pedal work? Yeah, it does work. Just gonna make sure. It's all pillar now. Why can't we, we arm our auto brake? 
that. Isn't that how you're supposed to do it? Okay. I don't know why. The flaps at 15-15 uh, trim is okay. Let's see. Yeah, we are actually moving just because the airplane is so high off the ground. It doesn't look like we're going fast. But we're doing decent taxi speeds here. Sounds good. <clears throat> Alright, so a right turn that will take us down to 3 4. We're going to start this again. Let's go. Alright, so we're in continuous relight. No smoking sign is on. All the lights are on. What's off is supposed to be off is good. There, down to the end, that's for running. Why does it sound like it has a bad rod tie rod in? <laughs> you hear that clunking? I thought it was just me, but there's some kind of clunking going on on suspensions on a nose wheel here. Maybe when we, we crashed it on the way out of here the last time, we didn't fix that. If the runs start messing up again, just use the tiller to stay aligned with the runway, says Florida Man. I think the tiller is basically useless at a certain speed. Okay, is this ops? Ops. Um, is there a problem? Come to look at the nose wheel. Here goes United. I'm um, sorry. Yes, yeah, United. Going to land. Nice landing there, United. Good to go. Ops is like watching us, leading us out the runway, make sure we're doing it right. Alright, Ops, I got you. Well, one thing I could say is that uh, it might be a loose tower, strut tower. <laughs> this the horse is getting nervous, oh lord. The horses are like, Meh. Dude, are we gonna be okay? Says the horses. Horses are like, um, we gotta look through the window at the horses, make sure they're okay back there. They're like, last time we did this, we had an issue. Man. At least this tiller is making me stay on center line now, unlike before. Literally went to the car wash and you're still on the ground. Rickenzie, don't ask, man. Don't ask, sir. Yeah, we did start stream two hours ago. At one. We're still here. We're still in Richmond. Alright, almost to the end. Let's go. Alright. Lights time. Alright, so we need to have profile clam nav set this heading here. Forty-eight, fifty-one, three, 
in such a rush. 148. I'm making 180, that's fine. That is set. And what else did we forget? Uh, I think we're good to go on that. Alright, so we have V speeds in here. We got our takeoff there, we got our D rate there. And uh, let's go to nav. And profile is set. Alright, cool. I think we got it. Almost. Alright, let's go. Alright, lights are set. Let's go ahead and do you for the uh, flight time. Traffic, uh, UPS 206, uh, take off on me, 34. Got nobody on final, which is good. And let's go. Horses given XP a mean time. <laughs> Taxi, yeah, basically that's what they're doing. Yeah, uh, I'm doing 180, 180 as the plus uh, V2 plus uh, rubber and phone. I'm not doing the 150, whatever it's calling for. I'm doing 182. That's it. Line them up. Let's go. Should have uh, some tailwind to make it for the ground delays. Yeah, I know, right? But there's no tailwind coming south. I think we're going to have a headwind coming down here. Can we get a lineup already? All right. Are we ready? We lined up. Let's go. All right, let's go. Hold up. That's better. Now she feels straight. Airspeed's alive. Eighty knots. Then I'm gonna climb out to the left here. Hundred knots. One twenty. One forty. If you want. Let's go ahead. Okay. There she goes. Oh, that's more like it. Nice and smooth. Then got a positive rate of climb here. Let's go gear. Gear up. All right, Richmond, we'll be back. See you later. Cool beans. Nose down, get the trim going. And we're on a nav profile. Watch your speed, sir. Watch your flaps. Let's go flap. There we go. And let's go ahead and make the left turn out and start heading to the west. There we go. Got a nose up trim. Not a runaway speed. That's fine. Motor back. Good to go. Man, all it took us three hours to get off the ground. Look at that. Only three hours. Only. Alright, that's good. We're gonna roll her straight. Head west. 4,000 feet. And we're gonna continue our climb up. Flap is up completely. Gear is up. There's our road. There's our airport. As we fly out. 250 on the speed. It's fine. At 5,000. We can reset our gear handle. There it is. Gear handle reset. Flaps completely up. Flaps completely up. There it is. Good to go. Flies good. Flies nice. I like it. Good to go. No fuss. No muss. Easy speezy. Easy. 
Alright, 10,000 goes autopilot. We'll just keep on flying it up, man. Uh, Captain Lee, I'm loving the scenery, brother. I'm loving the um, Richmond scenery. We'll be back here, most definitely. Absolutely, man. Actually, the departure time was 2012. Yes, 812. Thank you for that. Engine sounds good as well. That roar. Oh, listen to that sound. Sounded pretty good. All right, so auto throttle is on. Nav profile climb is in. Coming up on 10,000, and we're gonna go autopilot on for the 10,000 mark here. Good takeoff. Drama free. There is 10,000. Let's go autopilot one. Autopilot has the airplane. Uh, profile climb, throttle climb, and nav. It's going to speed up to our climb speed of 325. Up to 13. Let's go 240 for now. And then our final is going to be 340. That is good. All right. Extended range. Good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, very good. What is this here? Uh, brake fail. And I skid off. Set it. All right, 10,000 goes light. Light. And light. We have uh, strobes on, beacons on, runway turnoffs can't come off there. Nav light is on, everything else is off. Just like that. No problems once you don't try to take off with a broken rudder. You'll be okay. <laughs> oh, my word. Interesting. And the uh, clock is running on that. Six minutes left to take off there. Ladies and gents, welcome to it. Beautiful. Oh, man. Been a while. What's up, Trust Set? We made it off the ground, brother. What I think of the engine sounds? Love it. It actually sounds very good. Love the engine sound. Hopefully, the package will make it in one piece this time. Well, we still have to land the plane, Master 1185. We still have to land on this, man. Absolutely, man. Oh, Captain Lee, this uh, scenery is good, man. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job, brother. Miami, here we come. Yeah, hopefully we make it. But yeah, that was that was something else. Only two hours delayed. It's not bad, you know. <laughs> uh, Sherwin, what was the cause of what? Uh, was the rudder config Cal calibration reset, as Andy said? Yeah. Yeah, it was just the calibration for whatever reason was just off. I don't think I've seen that ever in my simming days, having to go into the Thrustmaster calibration recalibrate the, the rudder pedal. But it was a warning. It did tell me it was bad. I tried to fly with it in op, and you see what happened. Didn't quite make it. That's what you get from trying to fly with in op stuff. It's saying that I didn't put in my, my um, CG and stuff. It's interesting. I don't think I can do that anymore. So I don't have a VNAV profile for this thing. Can we? I don't think we can. I don't know. Next page. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can adjust that anymore. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't think we can. It's all good. Missing. We have a gross vein, but it's missing. Had to go about an hour ago, and we were still taking off. Yep, kill my skills. We had it. We had mechanical issues, man. Uh, Kevin said, you should have a couple of x plane series coming for me soon, though. Payware stuff, of course. We've got loads of stuff. Hey, Captain Lee sent him, brother. Send him, send him, send him. Not a problem, brother. Oh, you're the quality control checks for the Microsoft series, Captain Lee? Nice. What's up, Yuri? Good evening, man. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, guys. x is close to 40K. Community is closer than... Yeah, oh, geez, that's right, Andy. Let's forget about that. Yeah, we are close to 40K, aren't we? Very much so. Just sunlight coming from. Yeah, we are we are close to 40k. 35k, I should say. That's my camera 
so dull. Oh, I know why. I know why. We gotta like, give me two seconds, guys. We'll be back. Cover your ears. I do apologize for the air bleed. That was loud. <laughs> Is there a volume control in here? Hello from Taiwan. Are you okay, uh, XD? Hope you're okay, man. Welcome to Taiwan, man. I know you guys had a hurt earthquake recently. Hope you're gonna be all right. We got, all right, where is there a volume control on this? Andy, which was 40K, it's only 35. Master 1185, welcome aboard, welcome, welcome. Yeah, is there a volume control in you? Does this thing have a volume control? I'm not sure if it does. Yeah, does, is there a volume control in this? I'm, I'm curious to know. I'm not sure if there is. Uh, we're going to go a direct to after Drake. Where's, let's go direct to GSO. And then insert that. There we go. I'm going to go a direct to GSO. Cool. Okay, it rolls. Says the way you were scroll down. Okay, cool. There's a scroll there. All right, not a problem, man. I have difficulty getting external camera views in my Phoenix Block 2 using your method. Is there a trick to this version? Anthony, no, I never had to. Hmm. Can't get out the cockpit. Is that what it is? Can't get out the, uh, out the thing? Try opening the door and walking out that way and see, man. It's got to be a volume control. He wanted to take about it when he was uh, flying it through. All right, cool. So it says settings and scroll. Oh yeah, there is a scroll bar here. Let's go scroll. Oh, I missed all of that. Imperial enabled uh, cockpit settings. Um, curved on. Real door arming off. Real autopilot on. Volume. There's volume control. So exterior. Engine exterior engine. Let me go over here and see something. Hold on. There it is. That works. Oh, yeah. All right. All scroll all the way down. Thank you. So if we do that, let's slow up. Yeah, we need to go down a tad more. Half of that. Like maybe that. There you go. That's better. I am on ATC, but I don't I don't think we're, we have any um, ATC where we are. We're going to get APC going south into Florida, maybe, but no APC right now. Oh, we need to, we're leveled off already? Now we need to go to 34,000 34, again. Or is it 35,000? I'm sorry, no, let's go to 4 o'clock climb. There we go. We're going to speed up. We're going to climb some more. Ah, uh, seatbelts and no smoking kit off. 20 packages of horses. There we go. We should start climbing again. That's fine. Yeah, Unicom all the way for now. We don't have any, we're not in the agency airspace at all. When I hit load on the developer mode, it reloads the app and puts me back in the cockpit. Uh, Anthony, are you changing your camera that you saved first to like plus five to get out of the cockpit? That might be what you need to do. Uh, where were we again? My flight, we had 30. Mach 0.77 already by 23,000. We've gone 34 or 40 minutes in flight as we head south. Uh, we need to turn off continuous relay to ignition off, and that's good. Yeah, Anthony, I'm not sure um, what's causing that. Anthony, scroll through the different save setting, save views that you have, and see which one of those save views puts you outside here. 
scroll, scroll through the different save views. Maybe one of the save views is not pushing it outside. That could be it. Horses feels free to move around the cabin. Basically, David. Puts me outside for like two seconds and kicks me back into the cockpit. Okay. Make sure you have developer mode on and then reload the airplane. Have developer mode on and reload the airplane. Um, Anthony. So have developer mode on, set your views, and then reload the airplane. That's what you should do. Do it that way and see what works. That's what I'll do. Alright. We are golden, I think, except we forgot to put in our CG on the, on the curve, too, so we don't know what the CG is. Can we ever put CG back in? I don't know if we can. Yeah. I don't think we can put CG back in here now after we have taken off. I think we are... Yeah, we're done. But it's all good. Uh, it's probably not going to give us a VNAP descent. That's going to be the issue here. We have some descent. I don't know. Could be wrong. But we're going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Uh -huh. All right, Boeing 7A fan, see you, man. Thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's go check on the horses real quick. Let's go walk back in here. So we are in the jump seat area. And we're going to go through and check on these horses. Make sure they're okay. You guys are fine? You guys are doing all right? Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's walk all the way back here. We're taking some DHL cargo with us as well. So we got six horses. Everybody is fine. Lockdown. And we go between and behind the horses. Yeah, let's go between here. Got a bunch of DHL packages. What's in these boxes? Handle with care this end up. I don't know. Anyway, let's walk to the back here and see what's up in the back. I'm curious to know. Very interesting. Oh man. Alright, let's go. Stickers upside down and backwards because they want to see this when you open the cargo door. Interesting. Nice. Love that. And no need to go outside. Go back to our cockpit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back. Not bad. Not bad indeed. I like. All right, Miami, here we come. We got 31,000. We got 3,000 to go. We're going to be okay. Mach 0.8 on the speed. So 18 minutes in the flight. We're going to take us 20 minutes to get the cruise. And 2992 on the altimeter. That's standard. All right, not bad. That's good. They used to be able to move before the crash. 
<laughs> you can't, don't tell me they broke a leg, man. It's not good for us to have a broken leg. They put him down for that. They get put down for less than that, bro. They do. <laughs> I can't seem to get used to Microsoft. My controls always end up out of whack no matter what I do. Any suggestions? David, interesting. What kind of controls are you using, David? Uh, what kind of controls are you looking at that you're using? Yeah, I don't know. I usually don't have issues at all. I don't know what happened today with that runner, but, you know, you can fix it. Just relax and chill. Now I can have coconut water and rum as we chill here. I and I builds get a plane so right for like the A300, but for some reason they can't get the A320 correct. What's going on with I and I builds? I love their A300 series, it's so good. These airplanes are so nice to fly. But they can't get the A320 right. What's up with that? I don't understand. You're using the Honeycomb Alpha and Bravo as well as the Thrustmaster Airbus stick, and you have to recal all the time? Something is happening why it's not saving your settings, David. I think after you restart the sim, it didn't lose all the settings on there. It could be a computer thing. I don't know what, what that could be. Hasso Basso, what's up, man? Thanks for checking in. Big up yourself, Hasso Basso. Welcome, 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 welcome. Big up yourself, sir. Big up. Hmm. Uh, depends on the aircraft, David. Like, which, which airplane you're trying to get the aircraft to, the throttles to work correct. How do you lock them in? Andres XP, you should fly in Australia, get some scenery recently, and it looks incredible. Oh yeah, Australia is nice. I got a bunch of Orbix Australia scenery, and they're very good. They're very good. my opinion, but I think they run into trouble with fly by wire code and had to redo everything, Johan says. I, I believe so, Johan. I think that's plausible. I think they, they use a lot of fly by wire code because, you know, it's like freeware or whatever, but it wasn't. And I think they had to go back and run with a lot of stuff, you know. Is, is, the question is, though, is that the reason why Microsoft delayed um, the Sim Update 15? I don't know. What do you guys think? Their default three times still being worked on, they're not done with it yet. I know, Sherwin, I know. But the A300 is so good, you'd think they'd be like on point with it, the, uh, the, the, um, the 320, I don't know. I have the i9 300 and the Airsoft CRJ, for example. It seems to be having trouble with both. However, I don't have any issues with x 12. So, David, how do you, did you calibrate the throttle with the A300, right? Like in the EFB. And once it's calibrated, what is it doing after you calibrate it, close the sim, and go back in? I don't know about the CRJ, because that thing doesn't even have an auto throttle on it. But what's happening with the, um, with the, uh, the A300 after you calibrate in the EFB? What's going on with that? What are you running into? That's the question. Look at that crab. They're flying like sideways <clears throat> to that wind. Mr. Ark! What's going on, sir? XP having a 
a problem where satellite imagery appears at my airport in random areas at random times, both on default and pay where scenery. Not sure what the problem is. Ark, you're talking about with Microsoft Flight Sim? If it's Microsoft Flight Sim, then you're having internet connectivity issues. Your connection to the internet is a problem. Because remember, all this stuff has to load in ahead of time. And if your internet's not fast enough, you might be having loading issues where it's just not loading in quick enough. That could be it. So with Microsoft, if your internet's not fast enough, it's gonna look patchy. You're gonna you're gonna have a patchy load in and it's gonna take a while to load up and be ready. If it's not internet, you could be you could be on a, a hard drive that's slow to like process the downloads and show it. I don't know. But I would say that would probably uh, internet issues. I could be wrong though. If we're talking about Microsoft. Because all this stuff has to be loaded to you. It's not on your computer. Like we're running bandwidth right now trying to get, you know, the stuff to, um, to load in and show. So I would look at that. What airport is that we just went over? I don't know idea. That's a big airport, though. That's an international airport. Yeah, what airport is that we're over? I'm not sure where that is. Let's go back and the plane and see. That was in route map. Greensboro, North Carolina. Yeah, so that was um, Greensboro International Airport. Greensboro Piedmont Tri International Airport. That's what that was. GSO. Thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate it, sir. All right. It's Microsoft. I checked my internet speed, and it's uh, 350 megabytes a second, but I do sometimes get a notification saying I have been disconnected and recommends, however, my Wi-Fi is stable. Uh, Arco, um, try, can you plug into your modem with Ethernet connection, if that makes a difference? Or you have something interfering with your Wi-Fi in your house? A microwave oven can do that. A cordless phone can do that, and so forth. So, you know what I mean? J-Boy John again dropping another $5 bomb in the chat. J-Boy, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your good support, bro. J-Boy says, so I heard PMD trip service is basically done. They just published in up some, polishing so up something. So I heard the PMDG 777 is basically done. They just polishing up something. So hopefully by the end of month. J-Boy, oh my word. If that can drop right at my 35K so I can do a long haul in the 777 from PMD, it would be great, man. Imagine that drops on my, my 35k celebration. I could do a long haul there. Oh, that would be good. That would absolutely be fantastic, my friend. That's what I'd love. I'd love for that to happen, bro. So hopefully you're right, J-Boy. Hopefully you're right, man. Big up, sir, bro. Thanks for the five dollar bomb. Appreciate it, sir. Big up. If, if that's, that's what happens at Microsoft, I'm loving it. Where are we, by the way? Look at my channel here and see. Um, we're at 34.9. How many subs do I have to go? I don't know. Let's see. I'm not sure how much subs I need to make. Um, hold on a sec. We are literally 33 subs away from 35k. Yeah, 33. His issue might be related to the internet speeds, Ark. Yeah, there you go, uh, Ark. Take a look at what Sherwin said. Do I have the mini FCU? No. I am going to decide between the three FMCs and see which one is going to be the best one to use. Uh, right now I have this here. I think you could see my auto. Can you see my autopilot panel? That's what I used to use before Mini FCU and all those bad boys. Hold on a sec. Not sure if you can see it. I have an autopilot panel right here. That's what I was using before. 
and I might go back to using that there. But that's what I was using before, is this, is this autopilot panel right here. So that could be what I use, if not, if, or, I don't know, we'll see what Wing Wing does, or one of those guys, and see what they're using, maybe go with that. Yeah, speaking of that, let me see, let me, uh, let's see if I can, uh, movie flight. Shut up, movie fly here. See if that autopilot panel is going to work. I don't know. All right, 7 fan, give me a lit, man. <laughs> it's all subscribers watching now, Andy. We got all subscribers watching right now. Why is my seat so far away from my rudder pedals? I can barely reach. It's interesting. Uh, have I ever flown VR before? No, I don't have VR goggles. If I go VR, I probably never want to go back. That's probably why I don't, I don't try VR. What's going on, Avio man? Happy Saturday evening or afternoon for you, my friend. Big up self. What's up, man? Happy weekend flying from sunny, chilly San Francisco. Avio, thanks for checking in, brother. How you been? I hope you're well. <clears throat> Glad to check in. Are you going to get another throttle uh, for the A380 when it comes out? I already have it, J-Boy John. I have I have the dual throttle quadrant. But it's just going to be so big because I have the side parts of it. I, I have I have a separate uh, four-engine throttle quadrant already. I've used it before with the A340 um, from Tolis. But maybe I'll reconnect for the, uh, for the A380. I don't know. I don't know, man. We, we got to see it. Gotta see if I um, if I use it, but I, I have it. I have a four throttle quadruple setup. Yeah, definitely do that. Captain Monka, what's up? Big up, big up, Captain Monka. Welcome aboard. Let's go. Uh, ATC, what are you looking at? It's Raleigh. All right, here we go. All right, we're heading south. No ATC coverage. All right, so we are currently 33 minutes in flight, cruising at Mach 0.80.
need to watch the beginning. Did I miss anything? Want to check out the new update and ground handling of this new update? Uh, Avia man, I would advise you do not re rewind the stream for the first takeoff. <laughs> do not, do not, do not rewind the stream. No matter what you do, don't rewind the stream at all. <laughs> it's not going to be pleasant. Let's just say we had some issues. We had some issues uh, in the beginning of the stream, so do not do not rewind it, bro. Unless you want to laugh, then you rewind it. We'll see. So news broke a few days ago that Airbus found a way to save the A380. Uh, they are going to, with a two-engine option that would be more fuel-efficient, cost-effective. Ah, uh, J-Boy, is that real? What two engines are they going to go with to re-engine the A380 from a four-engine airplane to a two-engine airplane? How massive and how powerful would those engines have to be? They're going to have to be really, really, really massive and powerful for that to happen, J-Boy. So we're talking about also a cockpit redesign and some other things. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow, if that's true, J-Boy, that would be nuts. Definitely. Avio man for 21 months is beauty of live streaming, isn't it? Oh yeah, Avio, I'm telling you bro, it's a beauty man. But yeah, big up Avio, thanks for the 21 months man. You know it goes bro, you know it goes. But yeah boy, if they're gonna re-engine the A380, wow, yeah. A380 would look really weird with two engines, it's true man. Wow, you got a tripod Boeing 70 fan? Nice, nice man. Paul Major from the UK is in the house. Big up self, Paul. What's up, bro? Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome. Big up self, man. Good evening to you, my friend. Hope you're well. A380, two engines. Let's see this. Hold on. Let's see if there's anybody who made a meme with the A380 with two engines. Here it is. Here it is. Can you imagine? A380 with two engines. <laughs> there you go. That's what it would look like. But these would have to be massive engines. Massive, massive, massive engines for that to work. 15 months of Paul Major. Big up yourself, brother. Welcome aboard. Avio Man dropping the gifted memberships to Johan Jacob. Johan, please say thank you to Avio for the membership, brother. I appreciate it, man. Big up, Avio. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely, man. I'd rather to see them retire uh, rather than have them with two engines. Well, um, here you go. That's what it would look like with two engines. Oh, my word. <laughs> Bro, yeah. That's this is what it looked like with two engines. Here's a two-engine Airbus for you, an uh, A380 for you. How is it proportionally? I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. This ought to be the meme right there. Two-engine Airbus, A380. That would be something else. I know. Nuts. There you go, Andy. Exactly. What would be powerful enough to have that run, man? What would be powerful enough, man? What about a Trooper 7 with four engines? No, Boeing 7 if fan. Just no. No, no. Yes, yes. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab my uh, my beautiful coconut water with some right rum. I need it after that takeoff debacle. I'll be right back, guys. Give me a sec. Right back.
My apologies, ladies and gents. I had to go make myself a rum drink, grab some grapes, and a cookie, and um, let's do it. Hmm. I miss anything? No? Airplane still flying? Yep. Welcome back to live streaming XP. Welcome back. Hmm. Yeah, BK739. It definitely would require wing design change, cockpit design change, fuel system redesign. Yeah. Yeah. It would be a whole new aircraft, J-Boy. It would be a whole new airplane if they ever did it. Definitely. What's going on, Z Liver Vigs? Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Uh, Andy, it wouldn't be an A380. It would be an A375. It would be an A A370 or A375 or whatever. That's what it would be. All right, we are good to go. So we are somewhere Charleston. We're north of Charleston, South Carolina. So we're in South Carolina area. Here's the eastern seaboard. All right, cool. Not bad as we keep going. More like would be a 350. <laughs> sure, what it says, man. Man, oh man. Jacksonville Center is on 133925. 3392. That works on this radio here. Ooh. Okay, there it does work. And good evening, Jacksonville Center. Yes, 2806, fly level 340. <clears throat> Change my push to talk here. There we go. Fly. Good evening, Jacksonville Center. UPS 2806, flight level 340. Long time, sir. Have a fantastic weekend and hope you, Hog, and the family is good as well. Blessings, my G. What's going on, Bigger J in the house? What's up, Bigger J? Thank you so much for the blessings, my friend. Blessings to you and yours as well. Thank you for the continued support. Big up self with the three dollar bomb, my friend. Welcome aboard, Bigger J. Thank you, man. How you been? Hope all is well with you. Glad to have you on board. Appreciate it. Am I not hearing anything on the radio here? Are we missing something? Are we missing anything on the radio? We are at 33925. Oh, it's 35925. Down. Contact me, 35925, 
go. 35, 9, 2, 5. And good evening, Jacksonville Center, UPS 2806, fly level 340. UPS 2806, Jack Center, Ident. Ident, 2806. Alright, where is the Ident button here? Oh crap. Mm, if, we, if I was an Ident button, where would I be? Oops. Anybody knows where the Ident button on this thing is? We'll do it the old fashioned way for now, but I don't know where it is. And, uh, I turned around for a second. I thought I was landing on the HD page. <laughs> Greg, what's up, man? Big up, bro. Big up, man. Like the music, very appropriate to Miami. Reminds me of Miami Vice. Defender 721. That's like Miami Vice uh, video game here. That music before. Let's play. Let's play that one more, one more time. UPS 2806. You're at our contact. 30 miles east of the Alando Vortex. Welcome. Roger. Thanks. Yeah. I did press the V palette, um, I didn't button, but where would you be on this radio panel? There's ATC T gas RA, ATC 1, COM 1, 2. Your radar contact overhead, OLA. Where would it be? Uh, squawk. Interesting. Uh, squawk 1026. Yeah, where would it be? 1026, Don't know. Beyond ATC is looking promising and you can use it with VATSIM for areas that's not covered in your flight. That's true. J-Boy. Um, that map out with this map, uh, Kill My Skills, I forgot what it's called. That, it's called um, Double Down. It's called Double Down. Yeah, where, where would it be? Let me turn on. So this has weather radar. It's on auto. It's fine. But where would that ident be on this thing? Wouldn't ident have to be like a physical button? Press the ident. MCB menu. That's uh, ATCA cars. CPDLC. Now. Uh, in a hobby log on, but we would have to, you know, tune A cars, A cars, A cars. Yeah, you'd think there would be an IDENT button here or something like that, but not really. That's interesting. Love to know where that is on this airplane. Hmm. Interesting. No problem, skills. No problem, sir. Contact Jack Center, 133.32. Right, 52 today. minutes in flight. We've got another hour to go. Or so. Going to be alright. Run stream scan, come on as well. That's good. Airport. Jace, let's say airport out here. Don't turn that off. Run streams. That's good. Love the haze layer right there. That haze layer is nice to look at. Choo -choo. And we're still over, was it South Carolina? Yes, yeah, so we're coming up on the coastline over South Carolina. Yep, here's the coast. Off to our left side, we got the coastline of Florida. And there she go, we're gonna go down the coastline now. Chase, that's a turn. That's a turn for the wind. Nice. Have you flown into Phuket in the sim yet? No, I've not gone to Phuket, man. Yeah. Hmm. I have not. Highland. I've been to Thailand maybe two times in the same, really. What's the story with the 777X? 
from Boeing. Is that ever gonna get um is that ever gonna get certified? I don't know, I haven't heard any, any update on it. Certification. That thing should have been certified years ago, man. I haven't heard anything this year for certification on that plane. The last news was last year sometime. It's interesting. Hmm. Come on, boy. We're waiting on you. We're counting on you for that. 2025 is what you heard, J-Boy? Hmm. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be 2025 before they get this bad boy out. Interesting. Just little things, little things. Hmm. You think this this plane flies better than the um, the Phoenix? Sherwin, I tend to agree that the the Boeing airplanes fly better than the Airbus airplanes in in Microsoft Flight Sim. And when I say Boeing type airplanes, I mean like airplanes with a yoke that doesn't have like flare law and alternate law and direct law just old school like pitch roll and stuff i think those planes fly better in microsoft than they do the airbus side stick planes i think so i think you're right um Kerwin. i think you're correct definitely I found a Phoenix Flare technique for some Air Jamaica A320 update. Oh, nice, still nice, still nice. Hmm. Dream virtual flight from Italy. What's going on, brother? Good evening, man. Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome, welcome. Dream virtual, big upset, man. Oh, yeah. Miami, beautiful weather. Andy, oh, yeah. I'm looking out the window, it is. Nice, man. Now, kill my skills. I think we're talking about the 777X, the real world one. I think we're talking about the 777X on that. Something like that. Nice. Love that inlet waterway. Uh, Airsoft's retorted, yeah, I kill my skills. 2025 or whenever. Airsoft, it's how to get jacked together. Here we go, over the coastline, down the coastline of Florida, man. There's an Air Jamaica livery for the Phoenix version 2 now, is there? Nice. It's good to know. Actually, for my next, um, for my next leg, my next flight, I want to fly the 737. I'm going to in a minute. I want to try out this tiller with a Boeing and see how it works. Hmm? You can have all of them. I'm done. I'm done. Hmm? What? What? That's fine. Kill my skills that I was working up in Yuma, Arizona three months ago and I saw the Triple Seven X in person. Oh wow. Obviously you can take it over there. Can I get a cookie? Get a cookie. Uh, Tyler Svensson says, not gonna lie, 
I rolled back your live stream and sub instantly after I saw you commit to the takeoff with the rudder issue. That was hilarious. <laughs> Taylor, what's up, man? Mr. Svensson, welcome aboard. That was something else, Taylor. I don't know why I did that, man, but that didn't work out quite too well the way I expected it to work out. So, yeah, that was that was a massive, a massive failure. November, November, December, <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. Appreciate the sub. Welcome aboard. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But J-Boy says, I know they have pause of 7 reduction until further notice, so airlines have stopped hiring new pilots and only United still hiring. They are becoming the most new student. Um, no, the 739 J Boy, not the 73 completely, the 739, the one with the door plug is what they've stopped. Thank you, babe. 739 is not the entire the entire Texas line, Center just Mexico the 9. The door plug here. issues until they get it sorted out. Yeah. That's it. Turn to 374 Jack Center, good afternoon. I don't. But we'll see. I don't. <clears throat> You're still live streaming after three hours? What happened? Jackson, don't ask. Don't rewind, that's all I can tell you. Don't rewind, man. Uh, where are we heading next leg? Uh, Jeremy, I'm not sure if we're doing the next leg or not. Uh, my son's supposed to come over, take care of some stuff. Uh, if he's coming over, we can't. If he's not coming over, then we'll do a next leg. But we'll see. If we I'm waiting for him to give me a call Kelly to see what he wants to do. Good afternoon, Image today. Seeker. What's up, man? Good evening, sir. Welcome, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. If 2024 launches in September, they can go ahead and call that thing 2025. Yeah, but you know, they they want to call it the year they launch they launch it in. You know, that's what they want to do. We'll say, we shall see, man. I get where you're coming from. About three I get where you're coming from. Vortec, welcome. Hmm. Where are you going? Glad to be here. Yeah. Well, we shall see. But I'm looking forward to Microsoft 2024, though. Many changes. Uh, Florida man, you're on the map in front of me? I'm going to take a look and see, man. I had rudder issues, Jackson. I had rudder issues. That's what happened, man. All right, let me take a look at Triple Seven uh, Kilo Mike Seal. Give me a second. So TCAS is showing six miles out. Nobody. Let me go twelve miles out on the TCAS. Where is the TCAS um, thing in my jig again? Uh, that moved as well, didn't it? That's the weather. What is this? What is this here? Don't know what that is for. Can't tell. I don't know if it works. But TCAS range used to be up here. Now it's got a weather radar. Where's the TCAS range on this now? Because here's a TCAS. We're a six mile ring. We don't see anybody. So you're, you're a little further. So things are moved up in this airplane just because. Just because. <clears throat> you're a few miles to, to my left heading to Cayman, Jeremy. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Enjoy the ride to Cayman, man. Grand Cayman. We keep in mind that developers, are, as far as we know, don't have a version of 24 yet, so update to their flight model so you can see it. Yeah, it's true. They don't. Have they announced what airlines will be in 2024 yet? J-Boy? I mean, default with the sim? I'm not sure they did. I'm not sure if they did that at all. I'm not sure if they did. November, contact Jack Center, 1332, good day. 133.32 for 8826 November, good day. So, Where is the Trip 7X? 734 to Sunday, the price is 3 Rebel, Lenny North, Orlando, Altimeter, 29998. Is this the Trip 7X skill, my skills? At it. That looks more like a 7.5, but that is a true 7 minute. Come on, dude, where's the folding wingtips? Are we going to show it? <clears throat> that would have been awesome to see. Those engines are huge, though. That's the size of a 737, those engines are. That's a 737 fuselage right here looking at. That's nuts. 
absolutely crazy. That's how big those engines are. Crazy. Here's Boeing 787 fan with the MNG airline. 8300. Nice 78 fan. Nice. Hopefully better uh, when the 2020 come out. Hopefully we learn what the community wants and expects. True. Awesome. True, true, true. true. I must fly that liver one of these days. One of these days I gotta fly that liver right here, man. Ah, you sneaked it, kill my skills. I got you. MNG. Is this a takeoff roll? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> there it goes. Toga. Roll it. Oh, look at the um the condensation of the engine. Toga. With the moisture in the air and the thrust. Nice. Wow. Beautiful. I'm gonna say something controversial. I think the A three hundred is the is the best Airbus ever made. I think the A300 is the best Airbus ever made. Prove me wrong. I think the A300 is the best Airbus ever made. For how long this airplane has been out, and it's still flying today without an issue. Absolutely, man. What say you do? Would you agree with me that the A300 is the best Airbus ever made. What do you guys think? I think so. I honestly think so. Big, heavy, and Let's see. Slow. Let's see if he bought something. Look at this landing. Look how old this airplane is and it's still doing good to this day. Cargo for the wind. You see the landing now. What are the trails on the wing? The wing tips. Absolute greaser. Oh my god, absolute greaser. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Nice. Reverse. A20 is skeleton up to A330, I believe. So yeah, A20 still lives on now. Yeah? It's the best Airbus ever made. Beautiful. Yeah. That's it. Boom. Right, that's my statement and I'm sticking to it. Best Airbus ever made right here, man. So late February, I flew to Dubai. It's a very beautiful city. I flew in the exit row, plenty of leg room, but the cushions for your butt could have been better. That was the only complaint on a 13-hour flight. Wow. Awesome, J-Boy. I'm jealous, man. I want to go to Dubai, my friend. I do. Yeah, I want to definitely go to Dubai. Alright, here we go. More footage. Ooh, look at the MP11, bro! Wow. Another beautiful airplane. I'm sorry, none of these new airplanes have the character of these old airplanes at all. Where is that flies? None of these new airplanes have the character of these old airplanes at all. Man. Sweet. Nice. Nice. Go look at Andy and his arrival into my jamming. Ooh, that's right. We came over downtown, Andy. Nice. Here's downtown. Here's the uh, American Airlines that's Arena. I know it's not called that anymore. Bring her over. Wing view. Yeah, that's downtown Miami right here. Off the left side. That's the arrival we should get. Awesome, brother. Awesome. I don't know who that is. It's 
say 300. Alright, so the weather is looking nice, Andy. It is looking nice. That's good to go. Good to go with the weather. Loving it. Loving that. <laughs> the FDI MD-11 is coming. It's coming along, right, Yuri? Once it gets good, man, we'll, we'll jump on it. Once it gets good. Yeah, we'll show him next time, um, 7 8th time. We'll show those next time. We've been called down to BF5 for some work many times. Love seeing those aircraft. Yeah. Yeah, man. All the airplanes just have the character, the new ones just don't. New airplanes are made of plastic, basically. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Yeah, prove me wrong. That's a Miami Vice song right here. Alright, time to start looking at our arrival as we come down the coast of Florida. Let's go you, let's go to Navigraph, let's go to Miami. And um, what was our arrival again? Uh, we are looking at the Coastal 2 arrival. I'm gonna pin that. Look at the um, map itself. Pin you. Let's go to the pins. Um, let's go to Miami and see which side is the cargo. Cargo is the south side. Is there a north side cargo? All the generator. I think the cargo city is over here. So if we can get two seven would be good. I'm gonna ask for two seven so we can get off and go to cargo city. So we want two seven if there's no ATC. We're not gonna do two six left or two six right. We want to do two seven. That's it, man. <laughs> One gust of wind and they'll fall out the sky. Yep, those new planes. Definitely. Alright. And this coastal arrival. We got a bunch of altitudes here that we need to cross. Expresso above 240. Resect is 15. Expresso 240. above 240 and um, 280 at 15,000 at resec that's in there uh, Jota is at 13 coastal is at 16 and we end up with a bottom altitude at roads 210 at 6,000 roads 210 at 6,000 let's make sure that's in there Roads 210 at 6,000 here. Okay, good. Go. Alright, so that's set. I'm gonna change my arrival runway. And see, man. You'd better expect quality from, from paper play, the airplane. I'm telling you, bro. UPS is top left, Andy. Next to 8 left. Really? Is that where UPS is? Really? I have this wrong? Oh, that's right. UPS is all the way up here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The UPS is up here. So we're taking 826 right for landing. What are we setting up? 26 left. So 26 left or 26 right. Whichever we get is what we're going to be looking at. That's good. Cool beans. What's up, Dayton? Big up yourself, man. Welcome, we're Dayton. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's go. Andy, which runway did you land on? 26 left or right? Which one did you which which one did you take, Andy? Curious to know. Wanna know which runway to expect. Uh, is there ATC down in Miami right now? The answer is near. Let's check out Colin Tiger. No ATC coverage at all. What's going on, Diego? Armel Funo, what's going on, Diego? 
Good evening, man. Welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome. Big up. Two six left? Okay, cool. So we'll do two six left then. You coming back inland? We'll set up for that. Two six left. XP, I'm sorry to keep asking questions, but another issue I'm having is installing deliveries. I just downloaded a livery for the INI, put it in a committed folder, but nothing shows up in the game. Ah, uh, David. Always, always double check your livery, right? So here's my community folder. And here's the Apianco livery. Make sure when you double check on delivery, it shows sim object, layout, and manifest. Because sometimes you download a livery and it's in another it's in another folder. So make sure you're seeing sim objects, layout, and manifest. Make, 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 make sure that you're seeing those things in your livery. Because sometimes you think you download a livery and you did not. Make sure you see that. Alright? That's very important to be able to see. You don't see that, it's not working. And yes, as J Boy says, yeah, you have to unzip it first. Ask me how I know. So try that. Alright, come back and land. Come back over the force line. Nice. Wow. Sorry, guys. Ooh. Who knows what airport is that? Who knows this airport and the track? Who knows what that is? Who can tell me what that is? Quick. I've landed there before. And I've driven there before. Delta 1662 Washington's offline radar service terminated frequency change of route. Yeah. That's it. You're correct. Daytona. Land with your private jet and go driving on that thing. So I've driven on there in real life. And that NASCAR, you guys know already. But yeah, that's Daytona Beach. Daytona International. Sweet. Gibby with the DHL livery in the A300. Gibby, that looks good. I like that, Gibby. Okay. That does look good. DHL for the win. Number one best workplace, it says. Oh, look at that. Takeoff shot. Nice, nice. Big up. Rainier Sales, what's going on, sir? West Palm, not oh, yet. We're not, we're not down at West Palm yet, my friend. SF not down at West Palm at all. No worries. Can I make out what that says, um, 787 fan? Can I fix the radar contact? Uh, oh, one's your mouth south east of Charlotte. Welcome, you're going around to Leopard. Oh, down the coastline. Clear direct Leopard in 606. Atlanta's offline under service terminated frequency change route. 9938, have a good day. Yeah. And Senator, can I 606 just launch? Confirm that. Uh, Lano, pilot, Obet. Yeah, uh, uh, Jesus. Hey, he flies a 747, right? right? We'll go direct left. Uh, pilot, Obet is a 747 cargo pilot. GPS 2806, Miami's offline under service terminated frequency change approval. See ya. Thanks for the ATC coverage. Uh, GPS 2806, thank you. See ya. Hmm. Does GSX have the ability to do a pushback then pull you to start engine point? No. Only um, jar ground handling can do that. No, I'm sorry. Only better pushback plugging can do that. Yeah. 
Mr. Rainier is sales. Welcome aboard, brother. Welcome aboard. We will be passing over Palm Beach, though. It's coming up soon. I'll point it out. Anas, thanks, sir. I'm sure I'm eating cookies in your guys' ears, but... Hungry. On the coastline, looks up. I'm not in Florida. Now we gotta monitor our own top of descent. We're gonna cross um, you at what? Well, Danny Greed Expresso. Expresso at flight level 240 at Expresso. We're gonna need to cross that. All right, we got a ways to go. Jesus, this plane has made a lot of turns, man. Unfortunately, J-Boy, no. Better pushback is not available for, um, for Microsoft. I wish it was. Um, it's one of the only ones I know in any sim that has a pushback where you can tell it where to go back and forth and so forth. Unless you could do it manually with um, bar pushback in Microsoft. You can use toolbar pushback. You can manually drive forward with that. DJ Cool Breeze, the horsies are making me eat all the snacks. The horsies got nervous with our first takeoff, and they're like, dude, you can have all the snacks, snacks as you want as long as you keep our flight comfortable. Basically. Hmm. Here's our horsies, just what we're taking them down. Alright. Number 7 Alpha Yankee at Charleston International looking to pick up an IFR to the game for the regional. Kilo Golf, November Victor. Number 7 Alpha Yankee, contact Jack Center 133.32. 133.32. Number 7 Alpha Yankee. Still trying to figure out where the range ring is for. Don't know. Why aren't the horses moving? They're scared. Ah, <laughs> uh, Boeing 78 fan. No, I can't. I don't have the time to take a look at that right now, brother. Why are you saying rudder inputs? There's no rudder inputs right now. Don't scare me. Thank you, Jake. We fixed that issue already back then. All right. Let's go Miami Atis. And see what we got for Miami Atis. Top 404, connect Jackson on 133.32. All right. So, Miami Atis is as follows. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Um, winds are 240 at 5 knots. Let's make sure we actually put it in here. Let's go home. Landing. We're going to go 26 left in Miami. Um, wind is going to be 240, 240 at 5. So let's go wind. Come on. Four zero at five. Two forty slash zero five on the wind. Temperature is twenty six degrees. That's my total weight. Uh, we're gonna do a plus five, and uh, that's good. Dry conditions fifteen twenty landing. It says. Brake is going to be um, auto brake low. And um, what's this distance and performance? Jackson, what is that? Back with you. Let's calculate that. 
So we need 7,578 feet to stop. Factor it for 9,000. Uh, I'm not sure Doesn't why you're work. out of uh, 1 1,000. Uh, let him know you're out of 1 1,000. He probably thought you were someone else. Yeah, um, uh, what are we missing here for this to work? What are we missing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm gonna move on as the flight are back to normal. 7 8 I got you, no problem. Donuts and wings! What's going on, Donuts? Good evening, brother. Welcome aboard, man. How you doing? Happy Saturday to you. Glad to have you in the stream and chat, my friend. Appreciate it, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, 2-6 left is what we're doing. 10,000 foot runway, heading is 278. Uh, winds are 240 at 5. Do that again. 240 at 5, 240 at 05. Fellow 734, contact Orlando Approach, 124.8, good day. Um, 248, Orlando 734, good day. That's the total weight. Calculate it. It doesn't work. Oh, 240 at 5. 40 slash 05, there we go. The 240 at 5, 26 left, 10,000 foot runway, that's my total weight, dry flap, 30, 40, full flaps, calculate, let's try that, nothing. Don't says I'm going to Richmond next week for the con Corrections Academy, oh are you Donut? Congrats, man. Congrats, brother. Good luck in the endeavors, my friend. Thanks for checking in. Keep us updated as to what's going on, bro. Keep us. Any ideas? Uh, what are we missing here? No. Dry. 30, 40. Low brakes. Plus five. All right, what if we do zero on that? Calculate. No. Yeah, don't know. Don't know. Um, can we do it in approach? So 30, 40, no wind correction, VAP 136. We're good to go. All right, here's our top of descent. We need to cross 40 miles at 240. So let's go uh, 240. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna level change it down. Let's go back to you. Profile, there we go. And then um, we're going to level change. Can we level change? There's no top of the set marker for us. We'd have to manually do this. All right, let's go to... Um, Slow down, mark point seven six, and then do the level change it down. No, no level change for us. All right, speed's coming back, and she start going. She start going down. Let's see. Be gentle with these horses. All right, that's good. There, I'm gonna get the volume back up. All right, volume's coming up as we start her down. And we're gonna start it at what a uh, thousand feet a minute for now. Not gonna rush the descent. All right, that's good. Bring it out. Yeah, I did change it to. Oh, 
How is the headache? Oops, not bad. For some reason, I keep swapping these two around. I think of the A320, that, that's what it is. Duh. Level change, there we go. I, you keep me putting the heading at 240 uh, versus the, the altitude. Damn it, bro. What are you doing? Let's go heading select. That's heading. I, I keep turning the wrong button. I was looking for that. Anyway, there we go. That's good. Does profile work? Let's see. Here we go. Getting her down. Can we get a Air France 777 flight from San Fran to Charles de Gaulle? Narish? Yo. Air France 777 has to be the most boring livery out there, man. Can we get like a better livery to fly other than Air France? <laughs> Narish? <laughs> The Air France livery is so, like, boring. Boring. Now that Palm Beach right now. So we're going now. All right, there we go. All right, um, 15 at reset. Let's go to 15. All right, here's reset. And 13 at the joke. On the descent, ladies and gents. Let's go, let's go. All bare leather metal liveries money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. That's it, man. KLM to Amsterdam. Oh, that's better. Andy. KLM Trip 7 is what I'm talking about. Any KLM Trip 7. Just, just, just look at that. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Look at the power. More power. That's power right there. And take off thrust. Even this KLM 777 livery is money. This one I would love to fly. Somebody better make that livery. Absolutely, Andy. KLM 777 for the win. Yes. I like. I like. That is power. That is power! Yeah, man. There you go, Narish. The blue and orange livery. Yeah, exactly. That's one, man. Who do you think has the best livery out here? Narrow body? Um, Southwest. Wide body? Um, Emirates, maybe? No, no, no. Air New Zealand. Black. Air New Zealand, all black. San Fran to Narita, Florida man. You know how long that flight is, bro? Anything but KLM Asia. Yeah, KLM Asia, man. ANA also has a boring livery, too. 7 8 fan. That was boring. It's like a Euro white livery. Leave my loading. It takes forever. Alright, so Palm Beach is coming up soon. Palm Beach is gonna be somewhere. Like right there, that's Palm Beach International. Are we doing good on our descent? We're at a 23. We're gonna end up there at a 13. American 511, Jack Center, Squawk 6213. Alright, Two 
speed, speed, speed. There we go, thank you very much. We're manually flying this thing here. Yeah. There it is. Not bad. There is Palm Beach International right there. Those acts are Palm Beach. That's Palm Beach. That's the Palm Beaches. Right off our nose. Right over there. That's Palm Beach right there. The gold FBI delivery is nice as well, yes. Virgin Atlantic is nice, Andy. Does Virgin Atlantic have a trip 7, Andy? Or do they only have the A350? That's it. Thai Airways Triple Seven. I remember what the Thai Airways never looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Palm Beach International. There she goes. Not bad. Mm. Was Palm in the house? Hmm. That's Lake O. Off to the right. See what the descent there. All right, plus thirteen, and then plus eleven for fifty. Fifty. Yeah, we're good. JFK Cairo, Egypt Air Triple Seven, or JFK Istanbul and Turkish Triple Seven. Does Turkish still have Triple Seven kill my skills? Yeah, triple seven is gonna be the most flown a lot of drops. It's like when the seven eight seven dropped, everybody was flying the seven eight seven dash nine. Yeah. There is um, my air park right here. That's where I fly out of when I'm flying um, GA. I do my two GA flights in real life. That's my air park. That's Lantana. All GA planes come out of land. We took off of this runway right here. We landed on this runway. Yeah, remember that. Maybe I need to go back to another uh, big budget flight. Maybe I should. Let me start a recording here in the meantime. Lest I forget. My recording is running. MIA. And dash. Yeah. Alright, recording is set and running. Fly by where A3 didn't come to destroy me. That's in airports. Small airports, yes. Yes, yes. Do Turkish still have triple sevens? Nice, man. Took off from that GA airport, flew right along the coast. Did you kill my skills? In the sim or in real life? XP, if you could get a type rating in any aircraft that would, would you choose to fly? The 787 or the 737 Max? 787 or 737 max. Uh, what was the ATIS again? Miami ATIS was 29 or 9 or 7. 29 or 9 or 7. There you go. 9 or 9 or 7. Yeah, that's the that's way I'd do it. Alright, coming up on 250 knots at Tiggy. Let's go. Reduce to 250. Sure. Let's go to Unicom. Cool. Our Unicom is set. Alright, so 250 at 11,000 at Ziggy. Let's go 1,500 feet a minute. Uh, let's get this down to 10,000 for now. Let's go with some speed brakes, can't go out. These big old boards can't come out. Slow us down there. Oh, in the sim skills, got gotcha. you. XVU told Blue that explaining to a version of this plane isn't far from the Microsoft one, but nah, man, the difference is clear. Nah, Scott, they have their goods and bads, both of them. They are like on par with each other. Oh, who's that? Somebody's flying out there. Is that a, um, yeah, there it is. We got a, um, a Spirit Wings out of, out of here. He's probably going to New York, out of Florida. Spirit. 
Yeah, spoiler was open, I know. We're, we're maintaining our speed here. All right, here we go. So we're at 16. We need to be above 11 and 11,000 there. Let's um, continue with our descent here. 2,500 feet a minute. That's good. Get her down. And then 230 on the speed there. Wow. Slowing her down nicely. All right, 230. That's set. Get some more spoil breaks out. We need to look at uh, the charts real quick. Coastal 2. Here we go. So after roots, we're going to pick up our initial approach. 210 at 6,000. So go flight plan. After rods, we go basho angler. All right. So 9,000, 8,000 there, and we need to go down to 6,000 on this. That's good. And there's our turner. All right, cool. So 210 at 6,000 at rods, no matter what we do. All right, we are, we are on point for that. Keep this boy breaks open. Fort Lauderdale should be coming up to our right side here shortly. Where is Fort Lauderdale? There is Fort Lauderdale. There's Fort Lauderdale right there. Man. All right, let's go and pause the music. It's good. The print, this spirit is going to Princess Juliana, Mr. Hitman, out of Fort Lauderdale, I guess. I got you. All right, cool. We're good. Yeah, cockpit texture is looking nice in this Sherwin. They're looking nice in this man. Any plans to hop back in the CRJ with the Boris sound pack? Kill my skills? Um, I have a um, PTSD from flying this thing in Palm Beach and rolling it just like we did this morning with this plane. So I don't know. No, no auto throttle would kill me because I wouldn't be able to look outside and do sceneries like that. There's Fort Lauderdale. That's good. Let's go. Horus Box! That's your hometown, man. Fort Lickerdale, Horus. Fort Lickerdale. Bring her back to 210 here. Back to 200. There we go. Speed's coming back. Nice. What's up, Horace? That's home for you, brother. Horace's spot is two places. He's either, either in the parking lot right here, overlooking when the land two waits, or he's down at the end there by the, the, the one, one zero left by the parking lot. So Horace is either here or here in the structure. <laughs> it is live streams. Or he's down by the Hallover Inlet down in Miami. Where's the Hallover Inlet? Somewhere down here. Hallover. One of these is the Hallover. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Yeah, one of these over here is the Hallover Inlet. Somewhere uh, down there for the Miami River. Somewhere down there. <laughs> What's up, Horace? Big up, brother. All right, we're at 7,000. That's fine. Speed's coming back nicely. I'm going to make 200. And then we're going to line up and do it, man. Oh, sounds gotta come up. We gotta go back to sounds here and go settings, scroll, and engine out sounds gotta come up. Cover your ears. Red ears. There it is. All right, it's good. And we gotta make sure that we are crossing here at three thousand. So let's go to three. Yep. Alright, speed's coming back nice. Let's go full speed break. Jeez, we were speeding up there. We might be high and fast, guys. A little bit. But we're gonna we gotta throw those bricks out. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we might be a little high and fast there on this. But spoil brakes are out all the way. Here's Miami. Tomorrow's Miami, Horace. Nice. What time are you going to be streaming tomorrow, Horace? At Miami. What 
not even going to be up. side runway guys, I don't know. You guys are playing right here. We're gonna be right on top of them for landing. That's not good. Yeah, we have a plane right there. Are we gonna have to go around seriously? Alright, let's go we need to do heading select. Yeah we're gonna be right on top of this airplane here. That's not gonna be good. Alright, let's go to ILS mode. Let's go to land. Light cell altitude set. Let's bring our speed down. Yeah. Are we is he below us so, uh, or no? Do you know the speed traffic is one way to four three red? Let's go flaps. That theta frequency for Miami is uh, 118.300. Is he below us, guys? Oh yeah, he is below us. All right, we gotta we gotta break off and go around. There he is. Uh, All right, let's go around my airplane. All right, we're gonna break off and go back around. There's an airplane there. Yeah, we can't do that. What was it C top traffic, guys? What was it? We're gonna go around here. Going around. Yeah, let's break off. Let's go around again. Watch my speed here. Make it uh, 170. Auto throttle is on. Make it 180 on the speed. We're we gonna go around. Yeah. Yeah, we're circling. Keep the nose up. Let's go. Speed brakes can't go in. And let's go back around. Send it. All right, that's good. We got a manual land this thing anyway. It's all good. What's the CTAF frequency here again? Anybody know? Auto throttle. You can. There we go. Thank you. Let's spin her back around and go down when they come back. She is. All right. We're going to circle Miami. Go back out to the ocean and come back. What was the sea tap here again, guys? Anybody know? Yeah, I'm loving the Toby Eye Tracker. Definitely, yeah. All right. Speed's good at 180. Keep that there. Go downwind and back. We're going to circle it back around. Love the engine sounds. Here's downtown. So here he is on final. So yeah, we avoided him. That's him right there. And we're gonna turn it back around here and try to pick up again. And watch our landing man. <clears throat> Let's go. Traffic, traffic, UPS, UPS 26, 26 runway, runway 26, 26 left, left traffic. traffic. Alright, let's bring her back around. We can do this Miami Beach for the win. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, it's gorgeous. Now let's bring her back around. Watch my altitude here. Good to go. How is my landing speed? 131. 136 for landing. Oh, bank angle checks. <laughs> oh man. Bank angle checks. 136 for landing. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna roll out. We should be able to see the runway here shortly. Here we go. 
Mr. J Boy John, another five dollar bomb in chat. Thank you, J Boy. Appreciate it, sir. Big up yourself. Welcome aboard, J Boy. Thank you, man. This is XP. You hand fly it. Seven should be thinking about buying it. Master of the 787 so far. Yep, you should. There's the. Uh, okay, we're a little high. There is our airport runway. Gonna take that. All right, we have a localizer and glide slope. I don't see it coming in though. But oh, you know what? Because some idiot didn't tune the localizer and glide slope. No wonder. So XP, how hard is it to fly the 737? Thinking about buying it, I've mastered the 787 so far. 737 is going to be nice to, to master. You shouldn't have a problem at all. You should not have a problem at all. Let me go ahead and fully config here. J boy, you should be okay. You should be okay, man. It's not hard to master. If you can fly the bigger planes, you can fly this. Let's go flap. All right, we got geared out. And we're gonna go 135 for the landing here. There's our runway ahead of us. Flaps out. Let's go flap full. Let's go light. Yeah, I know. Flaps, flaps, flaps. Good to go. Cool. All right, there we go. Let's go uh, my throttle as well. Take that. All right. Can't look at chat. Thank you, James NATX, for the $10 bomb, brother. Appreciate it, James. Big up self. So we got gear down, three greens. Uh, auto brake going to be set to low. We have the entire runway to use on that. Uh, so we got gear. It's fine. We got our runway ahead of us. We got speeds good. We got lights good. Let's watch this and get this landing down. Speed, speed. Thank you, James. Appreciate it. Spray brakes armed. We have the entire runway to use, so we're going to be okay. Two whites, two reds. Let's get the center line, sir. Oh, okay. I thought my sim had crashed. All right, we got her done. I was gonna say, wow, reverse. Get the thumbs down. I was like, what was that pause? No. All right, let her roll out. Good to go, 100 knots. 20 knots. Let's go manual braking at the end. Reverse can go in. There it is. And we're gonna get it off and go to the right side over there. Oh my word. And let's just get it off here. Over to our tiller. And get it off. Wow, wow. All right, cool, we got it. Fought that down. But we have the entire runner, so we're gonna go up there where the UPS is. Whew, wow, what a struggle. I'm traffic. traffic. UPS 2806 clear. clear. Runway, Runway 26 six left. left. Cross 26 right. right. Traffic. traffic. All right, good to go. All right, we got it. All right, let's go over to the taxiway over here, and we're going to be good, man. I could tell the lag was coming. Oh, yeah, that lag killed me. I was like, no, don't die. I think me updating my graphics card kind of screwed up my Microsoft settings. 
because my Microsoft has been smooth for a very long time. And I think it upgraded some settings that it shouldn't have. I gotta go back and check, but we made it, man. Wow. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Concentration was turned up 100. V Pilot, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. I'll check that thing out, V Pilot. SKB, and we'll fly back in there for you. All right, we're down in Miami after like six hours or something like that. We are down. Yeah, we are down. Let's go. Cool. All right, so here's our UPS over here waiting on us. That's good. Should we enter from here? No, enter from the other one. Man. What's your max up settings at? We'll be able to show them before ending. Yeah, I'm usually at medium for everything but high clouds. That's usually what I have. That's usually what I set it to be. Medium but, but high clouds. Let's go. Flaps can go in. And speed brakes can be set. Yeah. That's usually what I have. You know I've been on things where the pilot did the use in reverse trust just breaks and it, yeah, absolutely. That is pilot's discretion, depending on how long the runway is or where they want to get off the runway. They're like, yeah, no need for the trust reverses, just breaks. Four hours later, says Jesus Martinez. Through that. Alright, we're gonna take it over there. Our APU needs to come on though. Bro. See this is why you need a first officer. Let's start the APU. Let's go ahead and put it over here in this spot. Right there. Get her around, sir. Love me some pillar action. Yes. Yes, yes. Horses, you guys okay? Okay, horses are fine. They're good to go. Cool. All right, let's go. Park brake can go on. Make sure our APU is good. APU is on and accelerating should be available here shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off you. You. Let's turn off you as well. And we can turn off our strobe lights, and then APU is available. We're gonna shut down engine one and two. Check this. Out. I want to hear the sound from outside. Ready? Here we go. One, two. And there they go. Off, off, off. Whoo! A three hundred next. Another A three hundred. Man, oh man. All right, cool. So that's off. That's off. APU kicked in and switches over. Let's go. Beacon can come off. Seatbelt sign is off. Uh, we could have stopped the flight time clock, which is 1 hour 57 minutes. And the block time was 2 hours and 13 minutes on that. Uh, we could turn off the pedo heat. Pedo heat should have been off already. Window heat was off. I'll leave the fuel pumps on. Do we? Oh, we got to do the um, replays on this as well. And then we got to run the replay and see what that looks like. All right, cool beans. So off, 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 off. APU is picking up, running everything there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Man, that was good. Let's go deep in this bad boy. Let's go watch our replay to see what the replay looked like and if it was decent or not. But or not, there's a lot of um, poop back here. <laughs> Joseph Kastanovic, what's going on, Joseph? Good evening, brother. Welcome aboard, man. Now a short flight to Cuba. You never know. I need to make a phone call. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and... Uh, can GSX deplane this airplane? Let me see something. GSX. Uh, request deboarding. Deboarding requested. Um, FedEx Alliance Ground. 
Yeah, can GS6 do the, the, uh, the, the boarding of this one here? I don't know if it can. Well, let's do door transit. Let's go toggle chocks, left stairs. And there is, yeah, actually GSX is doing it. GSX is actually doing the deboarding, guys. That is good. Hold on. So we can actually get rid of you, but we can toggle main cargo um, and all those doors. Yeah. GSX is actually working. It is deep plane in the airplane. Our horsey is going to come off. Yeah, there it is. Excellent. Excelente. What's up, bro? You going to take the, horse, the horses off? Can we see the horses' cargo coming off? I don't know if they can or not. I don't know. All right, let's go see what our landing rate is anyway, in the meantime. All right, we got the horses here safely. Finally, after two tries. I don't know. Let me see if... Um, uh, yes, both. Does this have a deboarding in the weight and balance section? It doesn't only have a load airplane. It doesn't have a deboarding airplane. Up. Oh no, it does. <gasps> Hope y'all didn't kill the horses. Yeah, it does work. Look at that. Iso Warren, what's up, man? Welcome aboard, Iso Warren. Glad to have you in the stream and chat. Appreciate it. Big up, big up yourself. Uh, XP, did you know GSX is working on seated passengers? I hope so. That adds to the immersion. Dude, they crush the horses. They literally bring the, the, the container through the back to the horses. Come on, man. That's not right. That's not right at all. Not right. Here comes a crew bus. Crew's getting off the airplane. Crew's like, yo, we're not hanging around. We're good to go. The crew's going to be walking off the plane. As the containers come off, man. Jeremy, you on short final? I'm short of final, are you? Let's go to you. Oh, there you go, Jeremy. Let's go watch Jeremy land. While we need we'll look at the landing rate here for you. Yeah, Jeremy's on short final down here. I hope GSX doesn't make the passengers creepy looking. You know they are. Alright, there's Jeremy coming up right here. Uh, in the meantime, the team time, our only landing rate that we have, because we don't have a pack X, landing was a 231. 231 on the landing, guys. I'll take that. 231 on, on our landing here. That's good to go. Uh, how do I end this flight? Yeah, so we have a 231 on our landing. I don't know how to end this flight. Alright, that's not bad. 231 is not bad. And here's Jeremy coming up right there. With his airplane. We'll watch his landing, man. Hmm. Yeah, not too bad. It's medium. We'll, let me stop the recording here. So we'll, we'll watch the replay. Recording has stopped. Let me make a quick phone call here, guys. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I'm going to mute my microphone. Check, check, we're back. 
Uh, not, not, not a bad landing, Jeremy. You're a little bit low there over the profile, but hey, you put it on the tarmac, you get it down. Nice landing, my friend. Nice, nice, nice landing. Good to go. All right, so let's watch this replay here. Go, man. Your frame drop. Yeah, my, I had a frame drop, too. I had a stutter, Jeremy. Yeah? I had a stutter, my friend, so I don't know what happened, man. Yeah, and exactly. There was a lag spike in mine as well where I gave up the controls thinking that I would have been I would have been done with that landing. I thought it would make my sim had crashed it, man. So, something laggy coming into Miami. I don't know what it is. Something laggy coming into Miami is what is what is what's reaching us. That's it, man. Yep. Uh-oh. Somebody's going around? Who's going around? What airport? Didn't catch it. That's Cayman Airways. Is he coming from the wrong, wrong direction? Anyway, all right. Let's go look at our replay, guys. Let's see what our replay, man. Let's see what our replay looks like. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You see what our 250 is. That's my landing rate. Let's go check our replay and see what we got. Right, too, too fast. Reduce the LOD a little bit. That would help. Yeah, Andy. I think I'll do that. Somebody wanted to know what my um, my graphic settings was. Here's my graphic settings. Um, general options. Here's my graphics. See, all this stuff was medium. I think I upgraded my graphics card and it like switched everything to high. I don't need this stuff on high. Trees and buildings and stuff like that. I just, I don't need it. Object level theater is ultra. Since when? Volumetric crowd? Yeah. Texture sampling? Yeah. I, me updating my graphic setting put everything on high. That's why I was getting stutters. Now it makes sense. I usually rock medium because I have to stream. I never really rock high on anything at all. That's the problem. And why am I in DX12? What the heck? No wonder my stuff look crappy, bro. Yeah, I updated Microsoft and I updated my graphics card and I think it changed my settings. And why am I rocking? You know what? Let me just go ahead and apply and save. Okay, we're not gonna restart, but yeah. That's what happened. That's what happens. My settings are changing. Yeah, I, I didn't do all this stuff. Am I using auto FPS? No, yo, my skills never really had to. Yeah. I had to abort landing. The guy you saw was on the runway. Oh, Jeremy. Sorry, man. Yeah. I got you, Jeremy. Yeah. So that is what happened. Let's go look at some replays here. Uh, do we need to close up all the stuff to get replayed on? Let's close up all these doors and go. Yeah, that's one thing I hate with NVIDIA. It changes your graphic settings if you do an update. That's why I never update my NVIDIA graphics driver. Yeah. Not using frame dread narish. I just don't want to bother. Like, seriously. <laughs> I, it, yeah. I'm good. I, don't, I never needed it. I was always all right. All right, let's go you. Let's go close all doors. Let me go GSX. And we're going to reset GSX here. Uh, restart you. That's good. We're going to close all doors. All doors are closed. And um, is there a turnaround mode in here for um, cold and dark and stuff like that? Is there a turnaround mode in this, in this airplane for landing? Maintenance mode. Disabled. Pocket settings. There's no turnaround mode in here, is there? Doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, Brian. What's going on, Mr. Brian Harris? What's up, sir? Big up self, man. Oh, yeah. Recent NVIDIA driver update had to, to last night. Yeah. I had to do it last night, and it, it legit... Um, 
It legit changed all my settings. No wonder I was getting a little bit of stutters here, but I wasn't sure why. Normally I get no stutters at all. And I like it like that. I like no stutters. I, I'm, I don't have to deal with stutters at all. Rip gears, sorry. Go Turn you down. And let's fast forward you to short final or whatever we need to go. Let's do that. Alright, that should be loading in there. Bring it up. Oh, it's giving me the stupid flashing light thing, and I think I hate that. Watch our landing, see what she looks like. All right, let's see how we got this. I know we, we floated a little bit, man. So DX12 is a no-no, yes. Is he living? DX12 is a no-no, definitely. Yes, absolutely. Yep, it does. I was wondering why my numbers in the cockpit were scrolling the way it was. It was like some kind of weird scroll, but I couldn't tell. But yeah, that graphics update really completely changed all my settings as like I normally used to have. Connor Hillary, what's up? Welcome aboard, Connor. Oh, let's watch this landing. This one landing was a float. Right there. Yeah. Then it wouldn't go down. Then I cut the throttle over and got her down, got her down slowly and a float and a float and a float and a float. Landing on the right wheel. I was trying to land it like uh, the MNG airline landing. Here we go. Let's try it again. Yeah. So there's a, a bit of a float on this one. There's a floaty float float. Let's go, let's go. So this and the PMDG has the same flashing um, landing light replay bug. Flight 504, what's up man? Good evening brother, welcome to Flight 504. Let's go. Not too bad. Look at the float there. Not bad. RTX 4070 for the win, man. Nice. I think we are floated. I think we floated off the center line on this one. I think. sim is smooth. Yeah, I'm going to need a restart to get rid of the little stutters I'm looking at. Let's go! Let's go! Man, I was a float and a half. Halfway float on the runway. <laughs> Legit halfway float on the runway. Ha <laughs> 
-mm. Almost died with my landing. My autopilot wasn't working properly. That's why I took my autopilot off, man. I was like, yeah, that's it. Autopilot off. We're going to manually take this thing in. Guess what, guys? Guess what? We'll be back with more streaming tomorrow. We're certain. Got to start out the week right. I've missed like a month of streaming already. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow, guys, with more streaming, more flying. Let's see which airplane I'm going to fly tomorrow. I haven't flown the 787 in a minute. I might take the 787 out tomorrow. If not, the 737. We're going to take some kind of bowling out tomorrow, guys. Absolutely going to be doing that. Shout out to all the moderators in the channel, all the sponsors of the channel, all the likes, all the loves, all the donations. Just thank you for hanging in there as I sort out my sim and crashed and rolled the airplane and go back to the gate and restart 10 times. An hour and a half flight and a four hour stream. I appreciate all you guys, man. Definitely. <laughs> thank you for all you do. Thank you for all the moderators, all the sponsors, all the members of the channel. We'll be back with more flying tomorrow. Definitely, of course. And as we always say, let's go ahead and do what? Let us run the track. I love you guys. I'll see you. Take care. We're out. Bye. See ya. Later, guys. Have a great one. I'll post up tomorrow's stream shortly. Take care. Bye. See you. Thank you, Andy. Google. Dance. Bye.